I met a traveler from an antique land who said, Two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. Near them, on the sand, half sunk, a shattered visage lies, whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that its sculptor well those passions red which yet survive, stamped on these lifeless things. The hand that mocked them and the heart that fed. And on the pedestal these words appear. My name is Ozymandias, king of kings. Look on my works, ye mighty and despair. Nothing beside remains. Round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away. So. Recording is on. Session two of The Lost City. Before. Session two. Before what? Before what? Exactly. <laughs> before AD. Before uh, second edition. Be be before. before Do you know who has the answers? Ask you. Ask you. Why are you asking me? I was asking you. No, ask you. Has the answers. So the Lost City represents the second adventure for this campaign. It was the first session that we had for this new new part of the uh, campaign for the party. Very briefly, I'll give you a, a summary of what happened. The party left their first adventure, the city of Karat, as heroes. After taking some time to level up, learn some new spells and skills, uh, they gathered together with two new members of the party. They were crossing a desert, hit by a sandstorm. They were separated from the caravan. <coughs> They were lost in the desert, starving and dying of thirst. They came across a long, hidden and forgotten uh, city that was almost bit completely buried in sand. Included in that city was a step pyramid, a five-tiered pyramid. For the top four tiers were above the sand level. The, the fifth is buried below the sand. The party decided to search for food and water at the pyramid. Uh, they made their way to the top of the pyramid. They found the entrance to the pyramid that was held open by the body of a dead hobgoblin. Uh, Could we recover that? A part? Trap. Yes. The party made their way into the first tier, which was one 40 by 40 foot room filled with three cylinders that were hollow and led up to three different statues of various godlike creatures on top of the pyramid. The party took careful note of the description of the three godlike creatures on the pyramid in case they need to know the information later in the adventure. Uh, they did a good job of avoiding a couple traps. They did a good uh, job of finding a couple traps the hard way. They sprung, <laughs> sprung a couple traps and avoided the damaging effects. The party made their way down to the second level of the pyramid, which was um, <coughs> 120 by 120 feet. The first level was 40 by 40, now 120 by 120. They explored the second level of the pyramid, uh, successfully maneuvering around a few different adventures and combats. They defeated uh, three fire beetles uh, that, that were just sleeping in the room. They we came across another room which is where they found a gecko, and, and Aldane found another gecko drop on his head. They defeated the two geckos. They found the room full of green slime, which they wisely avoided entering and, and tossed the torch and burnt instead. They found a secret <coughs> room that was filled with seven uh, sturges that they easily defeated. Uh, they defeated oh, five of them before the other two flew away, found a little treasure. They found a room filled with a dozen sprites who bantered back and forth and eventually cast a little curse on the party. Uh, left, leaving the party to find the fireworks that were hidden in the, in the room. Probably we took those with us, right? Yes. I'm pretty sure we did. I the fireworks that were probably day. used to impress yeah, one, the, one for old, except the, heat. the old townspeople. And maybe they shot them out of the gods, uh, or the, the statues. And, and then finally they came across two different rooms with, with um, a total of uh, 11. I think 11 men who were 
proclaimed to be the members of the Brotherhood of Gorm. The party identified the masks that they wore as similar to being that of one of the statue gods on top of the pyramid. So they've identified one of the statue gods as the Gorm. You know, there, there is a point where having a set of those masks might be good, and it might be bad. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry, go. The party talked with the brothers of Gorm. They appear to be half coherent and half living in what we'll call a dream world. Uh, where it wasn't quite sonality. It was more... Um, they weren't Harper, but they were on their way. <laughs> <laughs> well, be <it> in <laughs> Perhaps. So. Uh, almost, like, could... almost like they were under the effect of something. They were under the effects of the Gorm spell. They, yeah, they have been sustained in a uh, pyramid for probably generations, so that could possibly have something to do with their airs and their so. Little So the, the party picked up a little bit of useful information. They discovered that somewhere within the confines of the pyramid, there is an underground city of substantial size where the three factions coexist. Uh, they found out that there are lower levels of the pyramid with terrible and difficult monsters to deal with. And they also found out that the Brotherhood of Gorm is an organization made up of lawful aligned uh, fighters who invited the party to join if they were of the lawful <coughs> alignment. And although Dukat claimed that they were. The I said we were good. Not. That's true. So none of the party members were okay. deemed eligible to join this, this organization. Well, okay. The party left them alone finished exploring that level of the pyramid. Uh, they found a staircase leading down to what's probably the third level of the pyramid, and they ended up in the last room of the level, which appeared to be the treasure room of the Brotherhood of Gorm, which was uh, consisted of a pile of treasure of coins and gems protected by a metal cage with what appears to be a, a hive of killer bees protecting uh, protecting the treasure. <coughs> the party took a look at the room, left the room. It's unclear whether the bees noticed the party or not. And now the party has been debating the uh, correctness or morals of fighting the bees and stealing the treasure or, uh, or leaving a bee and exploring further into the dungeon. I the fight was, the bees? I was that. Leave the treasure. Take I the was, XP, leave the cannoli. I was not <laughs> Only take the good treasure. ever worried about wanting the treasure or not. I was really worried about getting stuck and dying. So we have I think we have enough treasure at this point for Mikey and Yo oh, yeah. If we really want to go the easiest yeah. route, we open the door, Bob and I each sling a magic missile which you can't miss in there. We close the door. Uh, I'm gonna we're, add we're one more thing before we make the decision. I like shooting arrows better. I've been, as the DM I'm trying to get in the habit of letting the party members know before we start the next adventure the types of things that they're gaining experience points for. I included that in my session mm -hmm. one write-up, which uh, the party members hopefully have read by now, but if they haven't, or for the benefit of anybody listening, these are the items that I've decided to award experience points for. For wedging the door open on the top level, hence avoiding the damaging effects of the gas trap that was triggered. That was all Ducat, by the way. Uh, but we're sharing. But he's he's very good. <coughs> he's for, a team player. For discovering the wall trap on the cylinder door, which, uh, by the way, eventually did uh, do some damage to um, to Ashley. Uh, but for successfully descending <coughs> to the second level of the dungeon without disturbing the fire beetles, uh, defeating the fire beetles. So disturbing them anyways. <laughs> yeah. Well, we didn't disturb them, and then we killed them. Yes. Well, that's disturbed. Of defeating the, de the geckos, getting dinner, using the dead creatures for food. <laughs> oh, we got experience for using. I did read that. That's awesome. Managing the interaction with the Brotherhood of Gorm members, burning the green slime. Ah, see, yes, that was worth using that piece of wood. It was a good idea using mm -hmm. the wood. Defeating the Sturges, finding the treasure in the Sturges room, which was four gems, mm. and finding the staircase to the next level. So now we turn it over to the, to the party. I, I think we walk away and we can't experience or playing our alignment correctly. Those gems are worth a lot of money. <laughs> 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 
I like that yeah, idea. You want to explain your space for not breaking the rules. We can always come back through this way. Well, I didn't realize that these are the. This is the treasure of the Brotherhood of Orm, and they have been kind to us. They've given us food twice, although we have to make sure that we inspect that food before we eat it. Uh, yeah, did we cast a, a cleanse or purify on that? There's always a, There's always on the way out. I'm just saying. And it does strike me too. <laughs> yeah. we, we've probably been adventuring or exploring this this pyramid now for about seven or eight hours. Is it wise for us to take a rest and then move on? We could. I thought you already took one rest. Oh, we did? After defeating yeah. the geckos. Yeah, we took, the took five. Then we took a little bit of food. Oh, okay. Cooked, uh, All right. Oh, so, yeah. The only reason well, your spells is... should be restored and rememorized unless you use them against the Sturges, which I don't think you did. No. Uh, yes, Kevlorn cast Bless. So Kevlorn right. is, is out one Bless right now. He's still got five Cure Light Wounds. But I think that's a level one, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think he just looks up and goes, come on, can you just give me one? Ah, uh, thanks. It's 15 <laughs> minutes of prayer, I think. <laughs> you you were praying while we were deciding about whether or not to check the bees, so you're good. Well, I saw you on your knees. Uh, Joel, are you, you were, happy with that? You weren't facing any of the party members, so I figured you were good. As I think the rules require it takes 15 minutes of commuting with one's god to regain a level one spell. Uh, can Kevhorn use the time that was spent debating uh, taking the treasure for Kevhorn to commune with his god? And you think it was uninterrupted and quiet time? He moves away from the group. I'm pretty sure that I don't recall Kevhorn saying anything in that conversation. He had a timeout in the corner. Okay. <laughs> so maybe Bless is back. All right, so now we're going to move downwards, uh, down the spirally staircase. Oh, yeah. Down and down. Well, it's not really spiral. Was it right? spiral or was it like a... Uh, it was like just kind of like a, a double back. Yeah, double yeah. back upon yeah, itself. Yeah, like a raised it's range. It's like a raised split level, yeah. How big are we end up in, Joel? Tell me how many draw it. Okay, well, this is in the southwest portion of the level. Okay. My level so, child so big so it doesn't matter. This one uh, sixty yeah, you gotta make your graph well, correct. Well that's one of course forty eighty one twenty this is gonna be a twenty oh, square 40, by twenty square level. Like 20. No problem. So start off with a um, two by two section to mark the staircase that you're coming down. Oh, oh. Oh. That's a little too big there. Small. Hey. So Josh is using some With uh, flooring. a drawing program, <laughs> a bit better than MS Paint now. What are you using? Chrome? It's a, it's a it's Autodesk Home Styler. So Chrome. we're designing our dungeon home. I, I like how, <laughs> as Josh is mapping for us, he's the party mapper. He's he's adding hardwood flooring. To that's, what, that's, what the, that's what the tool calls for. I can't help that. That's nice. <laughs> it's you know. Nice. I, I really like how you have to communicate to the map. Let me know. Okay. Let me use so give the sizes and you know with the pointer for the door was the laser pointer for the door was the last time. Oh. Mm -hmm. The door. I, you know, the I think I'm gonna make this double the size. So each square is five foot. Hey Josh, could I ask well, you one question? Uh, yes. you, every like I don't know hour or so, could you do a print screen and then email that to me if you don't mind? I know if it's too much work, then one print screen. It's up to you. Sure. You remind me, and I'll do it. All right, buddy. All right, what are you doing here? Now that's making it harder for me. So I'm just going by the map. I just had to be I made the room double the size. It's, it's you said okay. two well, square by two square. Well, I'm going to read to you what I have here, and you can make the adjustments. My squares are five foot. Your squares are ten foot. Okay. All right, so there is a door on the, which I guess is a ten foot long oh. door. <laughs> uh, on the bottom left? On the bottom left. For it. Still working on doors. Entry door. It's a good thing we upgraded this new technology that is much harder. <laughs> Does it open in or open out, Joel? That's important. <laughs> you got to give him some time. He was like mastering MS Paint, but we've been using MS Paint for like 15 years. Um, so, uh, when I we actually like, the stairs, I like the paint better. <laughs> I would guess that would open out. But we I come down the stairs and we come into this room. Grip. Nothing snapped the grip. At the bottom of the stairs. This is the staircase. Oh, okay. And okay. you're stopping at the We're at, at the top of the staircase. Which is now 15 feet long instead of 10 feet. Okay, I don't like this. <laughs> Give me a minute to find something new. There's Here's no, like, carving. MS Paint for, you know, freehand drawing? Well, then I, have, then, I have, then I have to cast my whole screen, right? I can do that too now. There's new tools for that. That goes from beta. To experimental. <laughs> oh boy. That's just. Sorry, keep going. Keep, keep talking, Joel. What, what do we see in the room? 
well, there's a door at the bottom of the staircase. Yeah. Okay, so I go down, I do my thing, I check the door. Wait, wait, wait. What? I, I just want to see, was, was it a hidden door? <laughs> no, it wasn't a hidden door. So, I'll, I'll, door. I'll see if I... <coughs> As, yeah, so yeah, he follows me down. Dar, Dar says this is clearly the third level of the pyramid, based well, on the number of steps that we went good down. Good job, Darter. Thank God for Darter, as usual. Gotta so love our dwarf like, in a dungeon. Um, fire, right? So down at the bottom of the door, check the door for traps. Is, is it, it, is it, is it check the southwest door? The bottom of the southwest. Bottom of the southwest square. And I got a door. We were doing so good with the grid. <laughs> you want the grid back? All right, we'll get the grid back. No, oh gosh. Whatever you're comfortable with. I can't Josh. put a, I'm sure you can put a grid on there. Nope, there's no grid for. There's no grid in paint. Yeah, I mean. You know, oh, I can't get grid lines in there. I can't. I like that. Well, this must be a new version of paint. But he doesn't have a snap to grid, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. Well, I, can, I can work with that. Yeah, perfect. That's a, that's a big pyramid. That's a, yeah. Yeah. All right, so while he's redrawing that, so we're, uh, myself and daughter are down at the door. Um, check the door to see if it's trapped. Yeah, you find no traps. Okay, uh, is the door locked? Does it appear to open in or out? It appears to open out. Appears to open out? Um, it's not locked. How wide of a hallway are we in compared to the width of the door? Uh, it's all 10 feet. So the hallway and the door are 10 feet? So that means to open the door, we actually have to back up. I'm just making sure. Um, all right, st okay. standard door size, which is what, what figure about five feet. Sure. Half, yeah, about half, about half the square. About that size. Okay. Um, I'm sure, gonna try to make sure the dwarf can get through. I'm gonna look, listen, and feel at the door. Do I hear anything these, behind the door? Why are these giant? Uh, is the door stone or wood? Wood. Wood. Burn okay. the door open. Burn the door open. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh, may, I wait for everybody else to come down the stairs, and I open the door. Okay. And it leads into an empty hallway that's 40 feet long, going going south 40 feet, and then turning to the east. All right. South 40 feet, turning to the east. We have a... Uh, I thought we were in the southwest are. corner of the map of the Why is this pyramid? Uh, well, you got a thick brush. Quite, thank you. That's what she said. We're almost there, Joel. It's okay. She said every two and a half years she takes care of one of the ones. I'm trying to help you here. <laughs> it's still that time. Alright. So, yeah, I got that. I got a door, you said, right? It's wandering monsters. Ah. Oh. Ten-headed hydra. What do you know? <laughs> Wandering ten-headed hydra. <laughs> Storm time. I'll get the torch. Well, that's a really big square. Yeah, I can't. How about that? It's not cooperating with Zoop. Oh, here we are. Here's the door. Alright, door. Okay, so we have a two by two room. Correct. Still drawing insanely thick lines. Sorry, right. you can make them thinner. You know? No, I can't. Oh, because we're zoomed in so far. That's the thinnest yes. line. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, yes. So now we got a 40-foot hallway heading to the south, turning east. Correct. Right. Well, we have a door. I missed the door somewhere. Ah. Door was on the left-hand side, Joel. Yes. And now we have a 40-foot hallway heading to the east. I don't know. 40-foot to the south and right, turning, and to the east. turning to the east. Joel, are you going to drink? Do you need any water or anything? One, two, three, four. Okay, thanks. Because Jeff's up, so. Yeah. That mustard was pretty spicy. <laughs> yeah, you took the Diablo, Joel. I'll give you credit for that. Do we have any light source in this hallway? Uh, so yeah. we have the other than our light sources. No. Okay. Well, we have the uh, the which oh, other than yeah, we yeah, have yeah. the glow pines. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I'm just saying, saying, other than our light sources, we, there's no other light sources. No. Okay. All right. Yeah, so, so twice. yes, this is basic D and D. 
Yep. Yeah, they don't provide those kind of details, so that's why I ask. We'll figure out what's what's reasonable. Okay. Um, hey, Darter and myself, I guess, are up front. The dwarf is checking for like Chris, right? Um, secret, secret doors. Door. He's checking for trap. Seeing the stonework. You don't have to check for sloping passages. I would tell you. <laughs> you to those automatically. Right. Uh, if you check your email, Josh, uh, there's a simple change you can make, and you can snap to grid in uh, MSP. I gave you the instructions. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to start heading down the so, but that's not actually at the bottom of the, the hallway. So no, no doors. It goes right. It continues to right. east for 70 right. feet and then turns north again. So okay. right it goes for right. 70 feet total? 70 feet total. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'll give you total. Well, Seven well, feet total. Okay, so from the from this bottom left corner. Yeah, yeah, from the bottom left corner. corner. That is that the easiest way to do it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seventy feet. Turns north, you said. Correct. So the party's down at the corner right now. Mm-hmm. Um, again, continuing down the hall, checking for traps, looking for secret doors, looking for regular doors. Okay. Um, just just when you're uh, halfway down the uh, hallway, Kalar says, "Hey, there's there's a um, there's a door here. You guys missed it." Oh, well done, Kalar. Um, King so there's a the door that, that I missed, the and, but the elf the in the door is the door. sister of Ducat. Ah. Which happens to be a rain a fighter. No, K K oh, Kayla's no. a chick. Ashley's mine. Oh, Ashley's yeah, Kayla's mine. I was just saying, oh, ranger. She's a ranger. She's, she's, a, ranger. she's a ranger. But she's not Ashley. No. Uh, Kayla, she, she's, Kayla, no she's a hot chick, man. She's mine. She's an elf. Well, should we inspect the secret door? Oh, clearly. How do you not? Right. Well, I mean, it's a secret door. Eldane, what do you see? Eldane uh, checks to see if he can figure out how the door opens. Uh, it looks like it's as simple as pushing just, the, just um, simply pushing, pushing a um, stone panel in. Okay. Um, I check the floor. Yeah, the we're gonna check to see it. the floor, the ceiling, the walls. Everything looks okay. <laughs> <laughs> can we tell? Is there still the dust that we noticed on the previous level? <laughs> There's still okay. footprints uh, <laughs> on the dusty floor. Are we able to see footprints that lead through the secret door? Or any sign of motion that it no. suggests people have used the secret door? No. Okay. All right, push the stone. Okay. It's dangerous, Jeff. That opens up into a 30 by 30 foot room. I'm getting Bobby screenshots. Oh, thanks, man. Keep in mind that's in the southwest portion of the, the map. So it was a 30 by 30 room, huh? Yeah. And this is the lower corner. We'll go over the square. So, yeah, that's right. And there is a door on the northern wall in the middle. In the middle square. Uh -huh. <coughs> we do. We do. <coughs> okay, so... The middle square is all over there. Gotta move the room over. First. Gotta move the room over. So first. Efron, you, you're still practicing as a ranger. I myself have moved on to more scholastic studies. But how do you think a, a hive of bees manages to maintain its its life here in the desert wasteland in the middle of a pyramid? Magic bees. Flowers. Magic. Where? Magic. Magic flowers. Oh, magic flowers. They were yeah. the kind of what the Brotherhood of Gorm were else when. North. I thought those were magic mushrooms. mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, mushrooms, flowers, whatever. You oh, know what? When you're a full-blown bee, you could survive a magic mushroom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not to mess you up anymore. He's doing something with it. All right, so um, so the door you open the secret door. So you, you door. see a thirty by thirty foot room. Okay, do I see anything in the room? I in the room. The room is filled with crates and barrels, or barrel? large brown beetles, each about three feet long, are breaking into them. Oh, okay. Do they look I, like fire beetles? I know that um, Alaric sees dinner. I uh, I knock an arrow. <laughs> they're not. They're not fire beetles. 
There's some other kind of big beetle. Do our rangers recognize the type of creature? They look they less have? powerful than the They're big beetles. Um, we have two rangers. Yeah. Ephraim says those are oil beetles. Those are oil beetles. How did, what, what are they? Beetles they, of oil. They're, they're about oil? the same strength as fire beetles. They, they attack by squirting an oily fluid at a victim of up to about five feet away. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. It's better than fire. We have a 30-foot room. We have plenty of room here. If the oil there. hits, it oh, yeah. raises painful blisters, causing the victim to fight with penalties. Oh, blisters. Oh. Glad I barbara. <laughs> oil beetles also have a bite attack. Oh. And there are two? There are four. 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 Breaking into a bunch of crates. How fast do they what break? Do, what do I see? The, what do I, can I see the crates that they've they broken into? What, are, what Their movement is 40 feet. Oh, you move. can't see what they... Much their movement is 40 feet. <laughs> yeah. I think I basically moved the entire 60, room. and then other people move faster or slower. So, so they can move the length of the entire room in one, in one turn. Yeah. In one turn. Well, aim your arrows, and let's get to work, eh? Wow. All right. Eldane knocks an arrow. This might be you're, not getting, you're not getting a surprise round. They, 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 heard, they heard you coming. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Kalar knocks an arrow. Still keep it going. Let's see, Six. Six. Alright, you got initiative. Party wins initiative. Sleep, wet. Sleep. 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 I could sleep then. Should I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright, um so Eldine walked in first with uh, the dwarf and Kalar. So the Eldine will go first. Who are you targeting? Which one? Uh Beetle One. It's got a big mark on its back. Yeah. It's like a one. Beetle One. Is, is there a Beetle 53? Beetle 1 with a 18. Oh, uh, I think that's a hit. 18 with my longbow plus 4. This is You're in the front of the longbow? Huh? You're in the front of the longbow? What do you mean? I, excuse me, I'm going to be in the back of the party with my... <laughs> well, I mean, I, I walked, into the, walked into the room and you're not standing there. He's got the magic wrong the sword in the Huh? Well, that was my left, my long. So, uh, 18. That's a hit. Okay. Better be a hit. Yeah, that's what I was saying too. Um, Twenty six. Twenty six. Efren says they are pretty tough. They got one. Two. Tough hide. <laughs> well, one. One. Mm. He does one. Okay, so it's got a bit of a nick in it now. <laughs> Kayla no, goes. She so draws. <laughs> she draws her bow. Oh well, wait. You get two uh, arrows. You get two. Oh, that's two right. Shots I get two shots. That's right. I get three shots. Yeah. Ooh, that's probably not going to hit. 13? That's a miss. Ricochets so, off the armor? Yeah, let, let, um, let Mike describe the miss. Oh, sorry. So, uh, second arrow, knocked, uh, quick fire, didn't really aim, hit the top of the shell, ricocheted off, and get thumped into a uh, crate on the other side or a barrel. Okay. Um, Eldane slides out of the way. Kaylar pulls her bow. She misses Ooh. with the first one. Mm. You're not allowed to have alts anymore. Wow. Yeah, I mean, really. Um, I mean, misses badly with the first one. That may be the worst roll I've ever seen you roll. That was, was bad. Twice that. Oh, great. Uh, 11's going to miss, too. Right? 11, 12. Uh, yeah, 11's going to miss, too. Misses. Hey, Joel. The crates they were breaking into, were they stacked up? Were they all just laying on the floor even? <clears throat> can, can I actually run up and push a crate that's on top of another one on top of them? On top of one. Trying to use my environment. Hmm. Uh, the description says fill the crates and barrels, so they're will assume that there's some that are stacked on top of each other. That means if I'm missing 13. All right. So are you adding your bonuses? Ash, Ashley runs over and tries to no. push uh, a... a a, a crazy one, one not two of them, or get it in their way so <laughs> they can't approach it quickly. Uh, okay. There's um, rules. Different weapons have different bonuses. Different armor classes. Actually, so I'm sorry. That's what I, didn't add my, I didn't add Kaylor's bonus. Oh, cool. She no, would have had a 14. Yeah, that's a mess. That's but still a mess. Really good if you had 14 is still a mess. You failed a lot last week. They have really good armor. You're going to go in the, in the corner if you fail this one. Four. Yeah, I'll give you a plus two. I can't move it. They don't delay anything. I can't move it. Too heavy. They fall in the opposite direction. 
Okay, I have to put these away now. <laughs> that bad, so, huh? They failed every time last week, too. Mm -hmm. So Ashley produces no results, but her well, efforts are appreciated. I wouldn't say that she produces no results. Maybe she wasn't effective in combat. Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, guys, I have a question for the group. There is on page 38 of the Player's Handbook. Which role you have, Freddy? Uh, rules that list how if you some weapons are better at certain types of armor than other. So like bows are really good for people who don't have metal armor, and then like certain types of weapons are better at metal versus soft. Do we want to play with those optional rules, or do we want to keep? I choose not to. That's okay. All right. That's my easy. Who's next? I believe you are. Uh, are you prepared? I think he's going to wait until everybody finishes to decide whether to cast the sleep spell in case we're in trouble. Yeah, that's how you tell it to. Efron cycles in and fires his arrows. Right. Oh, boy. That's my defense adjustment. Yeah, 11. Probably going to miss. Which is, which is minus With three. bonuses? That's yeah, minus. that's with bonuses. Is your plus four in there? Yeah. You should get a plus three. Not a plus four. Oh. For what? Uh, your thief. 23. Yeah, plus three. Okay. It's a hit. Okay. Guys, if you roll a natural 19, you're probably going to hit. Yeah. yeah, well, I hit with an 18, so. And that's for 5 damage. Oh, nice damage. Against which beetle? Uh, beetle number 1. We'll call him Beetle Bailey. Beetle <laughs> <laughs> Bailey. Joel was working on that one all day. Is he still standing, that beetle? He's taking yes. 6 points of damage. Yeah. Uh, it, it's hurt pretty badly. Okay. How it's far away function. from us are they? They haven't moved yet, so they're, they're like going to the cellar, I'm guessing. Oh. I'm going to take my throwing hammer. Oh, throwing axe. So you're throwing axe. Magical throwing axe? The throwing axe, step forward, to throw at the guy who we already hit a couple times. So, who, who just so you slow. know, you have small, medium, long range. One, two, or three squares. So if they're two squares away, you'll be at medium range. And you'll have to incur a minus two to hit. It's Jack. He's not going to hit it anyway. Unless, yeah, unless you want to run forward a little bit. If you want to run forward so you're one square away. 50% on the night. I take two steps forward and throw. There you go. Now there's no penalty. Natural 15. Oh. Okay. okay. Hit on a 15. For a fighter. Well, well I know it's a natural 15, so Eight my damage. fortune miss with the bow is 15 hit. And that squashes so our yeah. melee. About eight damage, by the way. Eight damage. Wow. And you got the plus on there, too, for the magic of the throwing axe? Impressive. Now it's the next one, Beetle Sarge. I'm trying to remember who else is Beetle Bailey. You've got to come up with the next name. <laughs> Beetle Sarge. Beetle Sarge. Yes. Beetle Sarge. Beetle Sarge. Beetle 2. Beetle Sarge. Somebody oh, something I better. dropped the ball. Can I change it? Beetle Juice. Thank you. Yeah. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ja uh, no, Ducat, you have you gone yet, Master? Ducat is not gone yet. I was, uh, everybody's gone with Ducat and... And Elric and Kevlorn. So I guess... Kevlarn yeah. has a mace. Nobody's gotten into melee yet, huh? No, I, not yet. I think if we can properly name our foes, shoot, yeah. we'll get some extra experience points tonight. <laughs> oh, that's we got what? To okay. Appropriately name our foes. All right, you okay. guys work on that. I will up Beetle Punks. Well, we, we've got yeah, we got Beetle Juice coming up next. <laughs> so I guess Kevlarn will advance on Beetle Juice and strike with his mace. Okay. <laughs> and rolling a four. Even, uh, and I don't think he's got any bonuses. Yeah, bonus. <laughs> Alright, are we, are we, are we magic the bear, or are we, uh... Yeah, we can always rest. Do you agree? Sure, you want to go first, then? You understand it? Try the sleep? Yeah. Alright. Uh, that's actually the short version. Elric looks to his master and says, Shall I try the words? Use the sand. As you wish, master. Put on those rose petals. Elric reaches into a pouch... Produces a pinch of the well, desert sand, sand and sand. rubs it between his fingers. As it falls to the floor, he intonates words that sound like words of power, and then he points at the three beetles, casting the spell of sleep upon them. Um, let me tell you what the sleep spell does. It's going to sleep. Oh. 68. Well, you're all over it. I, I just sort of another couple. Sleep. Japanese people. When you cast a sleep spell, Perfect. he or she usually causes a comatose Perfect. slumber upon one or many creatures. All creatures affected by the sleep spell need to be within 30 feet circle. The number of creatures can be affected as a function of their life energy levels expressed by hit dice. So, Joel, uh, it's up to you to determine how many are affected Excuse based okay. on their hit dice. It doesn't give you like how many hit dice in the spell? It does, but I don't, oh, know, okay. I don't know what their hit dice are. Oh, so you... 
Yeah, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So I can... The spell is cast, the wave lowers over to the the beetles, and all three beetles flop over. Oh, to sleep. Uh, uh, Elric nods in well satisfaction. Well done, Grasshopper. Thank you, Master. It was your teachings that brought them to you. Now we go over and kill them all. Now put them somewhere else. Be wary, it is a magical sleep, but if you are too loud, you may even rouse them from the magical sleep. That's right, we just go over, everybody just lather, you know, shoves their sword through their head. And we can't do that. We can't, can't do that either. Why, Why can't you do that? Rose petals are a live cricket. Oh, yeah. oh. Why can't you do that? Race will use rose petals. Are you lawful or something? No, but that's... If we need to defend ourselves from natural creatures, that's fine. I understand that. But we don't just go around slaughtering them wholesale. Are you hungry? No, I've got plenty of food, actually. We have we have one meal's worth. And then we are three days for... Right, so and we, we, we have full bellies. Yeah. You let us bam, we, 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 bam, bam. We, 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 we cut their heads off. Yeah. Okay, then we go through the... Oh, hold on I'll a second. I, I, take out, I take out my little Somebody extra fast, <laughs> and I try to steal some of their oil. I was going to say, is, is there oil of any use? Mm. Um... They're venom. They're venomous, oilish stuff. Ooh, interesting. They're venom stacks. That's the bob in me coming out. I like it, man. <laughs> no, you know, maybe if you were a high-level ranger and you had a laboratory there, you could do something with it. Do what we were doing. No. <laughs> that was a good answer, though. And maybe I'll just hold answer. on to it in case I'm a high-level ranger. Well, maybe you should do that. Well, well, we search, we search the crates and barrels. What, the ones oh, jeez, yeah. guys, you did it when my back was turned again. The crates and barrels are full of food and water. Fresh food and fresh water. That's a good thing we slaughtered. Fresh water. Fresh water. Really? Score. We is there a uh, I shoved as much fresh food. A date or anything? I shoved as much water in my pockets as I can. A sell exactly. by day. I fill my pockets with water. Best before. Best before. <laughs> I think it was before the, the room is up. pretty clean. It, it clearly appears to be some kind of food storage room. Okay. So, so we, we fill our water storage. flasks or food somewhere. Yeah. We drink our Get fill a little of water. Drink. Do we see where the beetle we'll take an extra meal or two? We should Maybe we should, you know, if we went through all this trouble of slaughtering these beetles, it's all the pyramid. They just magically appear out of nowhere. The we beetles are the food. Do, do, we should give, uh, what's your guy's name? Elric? While, while we in, ingest and such, we should give Elric 15 minutes he needs to recoup his spell. Yeah, well, what you have already eaten, he can certainly pray. Thank you, Master. I'm not sure oh, okay. to the corner. Sorry. You're going to eat the uh, you know, it also strikes me that we're clearly not the only ones on this <laughs> level. It, would it be wise for us in the future as we take rests to uh, lock the doors so that nothing can get in? Push barrels in front of the doors, for example? Lock the hey, doors. Mm -hmm. I erased the end of that hallway there. Is that how it's supposed to be? You didn't look. Okay, yeah, yeah, so we don't know what's there. down there. Yeah. Okay. All right, uh, I see we go back to the hallway. Go back to the hallway. You don't want to see what that door opens up I, I, to? Well, it, 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 in all likelihood, it's going to wrap around. I'm going to see it from the. From the I said we split the party. Okay. Yeah, I like that idea. I said we split the party. Oh, Elric, uh, Joel, Elric anything. is going to use his knife, and he's just going to cut out a pincher of a beetle. It's an interesting item, and it might be useful for spell components in some time in the future. Okay. I think what we should do is we should cut the shells beetles. off the beetles. They seem pretty tough, and we can use them as shields. We well, already all have shields. We already have shields. I don't have shields. Oh, oh, you, you know what? No, I, I have my shield. No, you're a thief. You don't have a shield. Uh, yeah, I know. I didn't, I didn't make beetle armor out of it. That's what I was saying. Man. Beetle plate. Ch beetle armor. Beetle helmet would be nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A beetle helmet. Like just take off like the take the, the eyeballs out. Yeah, yeah, very Hercules. Just take like just take like the eyeballs yeah, out and like, slide right over. Uh, yeah. You know. All right, let's cut. Let's head around. All right, so we're gonna head head back the way we were came in. Yes. After we've got our stuff, we've filled our water skins and we've eaten our fill and we've taken an extra meal. And we're back out on the and desert we're out of the way to right. yeah, the tower. And by the way, do you guys know that if a cleric has at least one drop of water, only then can he cast to create water. And if he's level one, it creates four gallons. If he's level two, it creates eight gallons. So I can make eight gallons of that. But that just means that don't drink all of the water. Always leave just a little bit left over. Dude, it's called sweat. Haven't you watched The Fifth Element? <laughs> That's right. And we're in a desert. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry. I would estimate everybody can carry about a week's worth of provisions. Does that sound I would, I would say that that sounds probably so reasonable. Would be able to so we just make our way to the exit? Yeah. Do you think it'll take a week to get through the desert? Well, yeah. What, how, what, uh, what, what happened to the horse, dude? Mm. Well, you can choose to leave behind treasure and carry crates and barrels with you, too. 
I, I would suggest. Yeah, well, we haven't. I mean, we haven't taken any real treasure at this point. The only thing we've really gotten from a treasure perspective is four gems. Darter or Andy at all? He build a little cart. He could build a cart, and we could, you know. <laughs> It is true. We've got those those pallets from Actually, what we could have done instead of killing these beetles, we could have turned them to a good use. We could have harnessed them yeah, to, the cat behind to the cart. To the cart. pack for more. They more could have pulled our cart across I'll, the I'll never leave Mephistopheles behind. Never get They're down. desert I mean, beetles. He's so key to this adventure. <laughs> <laughs> They're dung beetles. He's a familiar. I'll use him when the time is right. It's not necessary. All right, set him around the corner here. Wait, wait, a little moss running around. All right, so we head down. Okay, so head around down the corner. What do we do? Just a mean river path. I was thinking of the dung beetle. That's a seven, <laughs> 70 foot long hallway hey, ending in the north. Woo! To, to Woo! The north. <laughs> River! Hey, you using the whole fifth there, Doctor? What? <laughs> hey! Did it turn left? No, I mean, right, right. there. Right. 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 Oh, there's a door at the end? Okay. Door Last door the end moment. Of the door. <laughs> the bar. The two B's one. What? B A B A R? B A B A R? That's two. That's two. Yeah, but not yeah, right, but not right, 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 right next to each other. All right. I'll do it. Don't kind of start challenging him on, on Fletch lyrics. You'll, ne you'll never you'll prevail. You'll never win that one. <laughs> John, John, Cock 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 John Cocktail Toastone? <laughs> uh, Are you trying to bribe your... <laughs> Actually, there was, there was, when Joel and I played a lot of Magic, we'd go with like a bag of those just playing Magic. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> wow. We'd been to the gym before that, so it was almost okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so down the hallway, turn, make the turn, heading up, uh, checking for, for right, checking for traps and doors, <coughs> traps, doors, monsters, angry monsters, monsters, skulking kitties. <laughs> You're pretty confident that there's no secret doors or sloping passages or okay. traps along the hallway. Okay. Any other simple door that opens. So just outward. a simple door opens towards us. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, nothing's trapped, so we will. Uh, I look, listen, and feel. Do I hear anything on the other side of the door? Okay. I tell everybody I'm opening the door. And the door opens. The door opens into oh, a 50 foot long corridor that ends in another door. To another 50 foot, you said? Right. I, I love how there's just and a door in the middle of the corridor for apparently no reason. And in the middle of the hall, in the middle of the wall in the hallway, there are eight big buttons all in a line. Eight big buttons, like stone buttons. I think I. Yeah. This sounds no, familiar. Yeah, stone buttons. Easy yeah. button shape. Yep. Nothing written on them. Yeah, there are symbols next to each of them. Okay. Which oh. I failed to copy for you. So. We'll, and what's so the poem we'll, written underneath the buttons? Oh, I'm sorry. The pictures are kind of small, but you that's okay. One, yeah, one button has S. You should label them one. Two, one button has no. S W. <laughs> One button it. has W, one button has N W. Stop, 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 stop. You're going too fast. North, north, south, north, north, east, north, west, north west, yeah. east, southeast, south, yeah. south it's the, west. It's west. all the different quadrants. Compass all the different uh, compass points, sorry. Yeah. So we have buttons with compass points going top to bottom. And uh, they're well, they're in a line. line. They're they're right. Right. Horizontally. Right. Yeah, horizontal. Okay, and the buttons are right here in the middle of the wall? Yeah. What kind of font is it? How about a uh, aerial? Size 12. <laughs> is this like a uh, common? Is this a common lettering? Yeah. So if you can't read common, you don't understand what these mean. <laughs> What's swa? If you can mean? read Brotherhood of Gorm, you can understand these. You know, it's kind of fascinating. They're, they're not a doppelganger. This uh, pyramid has been around for 2,000 years, and yet the language remains the same. It's fascinating that it hasn't evolved in all that time. I don't think there's any language today here. I asked. Like I asked the. I asked the dwarf if he has any idea what this would be. I mean, I'm an elf from the wood. That have had little, no, not much change in their language. You, you know, know. So, so why would there be buttons with compass directions? But there's no. On the they're, wall, they're, they're, they're isolated. There's no exchange. Would it no, open doors no or something? Or we still make is there something that moves with it? I mean, we could just push one and see what happens. Like, look at. Think about it ever. He was growing on the list. Yes, everybody in the court just started speaking their S's with their lists. Something like that. Like lists. And now we have to start thinks that there's some kind of mechanism that these buttons must connect to. You can't tell what it is. Because there's something different about the floor. There's something different about the floor? It doesn't feel quite as solid as the other floors that you walk on. 
Is the, is that sharp? door that we went through open or, or be flat? Up? Yeah. <laughs> door that you open. If you don't get this right, we'll all be flat. We'll all be flat. <laughs> Hey, can we uh, can we pry open the door we just came out of? I don't like the doors. Don't look at this. We didn't close, we didn't close that door. Oh, all right. the, the hallway that we just walked came through the door on. Yeah, that, that door was open still. Okay. Is it pried open though? Have we got something in there to wedge it? Uh, we got a dwarf. We can stick somebody in. We there could put a dwarf in front of like a doorstop. Let's just grab some of the crates and pry that they keep this door. Oh, open. Let's, let's, let's fight in there. Standard adventure fair. Sure, sure. Put sure. a spike in there. You just want more XP. We spike the door. So what what if you walk through? Yes. So what if we so what if we get everybody back behind? This is gonna sound like the craziest idea ever. Oh, by the okay. way, hang on. Have you played I you with Bob? With my no, no, that, wait, wait, wait to hear my idea. Let's tie everybody together, <laughs> and then let's push one of the buttons and see what happens. As long let's as go, I'm not tied to Bob. Let's let's ignore the buttons for now. Continue to the next door. All right, let's go to the next door. I agree. I gotta push a button. So accidentally, when you're walking by, you lean against the wall and hit the. You're not your kid. South, east, <laughs> west, northeast, southwest. Which button? You're all D8. Oh, not your phone. Figure we go to the top door. Who rolls dice on the phone? That's just crazy. Okay, so nobody finds any traps. Okay. Open up. Get Open. to the door. Start lock. The you door listen, opens up into another it looks, corridor. Looks in or out. Oh, okay. Opens in or out again. Well, all the doors seem to be opening the same way, so they're all opening in. Well, this one opened out. That one opened out? Okay. That's the only one that seems to that seems to be different so far. Okay. This is an 80-foot long corridor that at the uh, end splits both to the left and the right. The east and the west. To the left and the right. A T intersection. You know, the fact that we saw fresh food in that storage room suggests that we're in the territory of one of the other factions, and they are keeping it stocked, right? For their, for their guests. For they their sent people. Opening. Well, they come up here. They send people up here. It's so like that one? Yeah. That's exactly right. We did that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, uh, so Darter and I do our thing as we are walking off the corridor from the buttons. This is this is 20 squares right now. Based on what we guess, this is about as long as this floor As guess. long as the, yeah. the, this level is, right? Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, that's what I said. Thank you. That's my line. Goodness. That's true. That is Darter's line. Um, as we're walking up, Darter and I are just talking, and I'm like, dude, you should have pushed north. Is it Darter or Dark Darter? Or? Uh, either one. Oh, either one. Oh, all right. It's like John or John. Yeah, it's like John or John. <laughs> so now on, <laughs> all, the, all the toilets in the kingdom should now some, be known Sometimes as... I get upset about calling them John when their name is John. That's right. If you came from the west side, door, door remains. Especially when they're a J-O-N versus a J-O-H-S. Yeah. All right, we head down to the T-intersection. We look up to the right and carefully... You guys all mispronounce it anyway. Is it from the New Hampshire Darters? It's from the New Hampshire Darters. The New Hampshire Dark Magics? Right, it goes down an additional 40 feet and turns to the south. And to the left, it goes an additional 50 feet. Does that include the center square? No. In addition to the center square, 40 then 50. 40 on the right, 50 on the left. So it's 100 feet altogether. Do I call the center square or not? No, no, no. It's additional to the center square. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, this way. And then five And they both turn south? Yes. Both turn the corner and turn south. What's up? What's in? Not the best job of looking up on it. It looks kind of rough. We should have been in caverns tonight. Dwarves didn't do this, though. <laughs> <laughs> dwarf, dwarf, yeah, dwarf, dwarfish mapping is much better than this. Dwarves can map the caves with all the little crevices. Okay. But I guess I could draw steps there. Yeah. Oh, that, that. What's going on there? All right. Four so up. left or right? I turned. I turned back to the group. Uh, we've got a left or right choice. Flip coin. Oh wait, there's left on the other side. Let's, Let's go left. Let's see if we can reconnect with the other room. All right, left. All right, so we go left. Looking for traps. Looking, yes, looking doing for our, we're doors. doing our normal, checking for secret doors, looking for traps, so being careful. No, no traps found, no secret doors found. Okay, yeah. moving yeah. to the corner then, and looking down that hallway. It, it turns down, it's a 20 foot hallway with a door at the end. So one additional square. And 
door on the side. She's only pushed there. She's not really Probably. Oh, okay. Like Close enough. Uh, yeah, go to the door, check it. Check it's locked. Uh, it's right has on nothing to be locked yet, yeah. so I'm assuming it's not, but. I feel like you got Not for very long. Not for very long. <laughs> the door is not locked. Okay, you don't hear anything. Don't hear inside. anything. Okay, open the door. You just open it? Opens in. Opens out. It opens out. Open opens out. And it is a 30 <laughs> by 20 room. 30 long way? 30 long. 20 this feet. is the western part. So it turns to east for 30 feet and down 20 feet. Down and over that way. That way, that's the point. 30, yep. All right. All right. But for our lights, would, would all of these hallways and rooms be in pitch blackness? Is that fair to say? Yep. Okay. There doesn't appear to be any. There any doors here, Goals? There are no doors in there. I uh, uh, was. Checking in, uh, looking in, what do we see? Seriously. Everything's uh, pitch black. This room is filled Not with shelves. Most of these are empty, but some contain old crates. The shelves are covered with dust and a vile looking yellow fungus that grows in large, thick clusters. Guys, I'm just, I'm just getting away from the, whatever these forzies are. I think this is just bad news. And I was going to say, I, who touches the fungus? Because I'm not going to be anywhere near the field. Well, Kayla or uh, Ephron, do you, do you recognize these from your travels within the wilderness? Well, I was going to say, Eldane and Kayla, do we recognize it? Because we're both elves. What else? I am both an elf and a ranger. I get two guys to hold. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Kayla gets two. Eldane only gets one. Ephron says he, he would bet almost anything that's yellow mold. I would bet almost anything that that's yellow mold. It, it's moldy and it's yellow. Yeah, we should get out of there. Uh, thanks, Ephron. Is that, is that yeah, Ephron? Can you tell us about it? Was yeah. there a door in there? It comes from the ya Latin yellow with mold. Which is, is Latin for yellow mold. Oh. Or mold that is yellow. I, I, and I think in Sanskrit it's fungus among us. Yeah. I think in terms of noxious gas, it's... So what does yellow mold have? Okay. There you go. Oh. <laughs> it's not D&D &D until we get one of those... So Jeffrey had just spores. Michael. That was me. That was Mike. But just so you know, yellow, <laughs> Lost City B4 yellow mold is not nearly as dangerous as Tomb of Horrors yellow mold. <laughs> I hope not. What, what does Zephron know about yellow mold that he can share with us? Uh, if it's disturbed, it may yeah. shoot out uh, spores, spores that can that that choke you. you. Yeah. Hmm. I, don't, I think this room is better avoided. And, and, and it can only be destroyed by fire. Yeah, but then we burn all the boxes. But then we burn all the boxes and stuff. So I'm okay with wait, 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 so can, we, can we pull out boxes that are not me, mold infested? Can I ask a mean, question? You said the molds were in clumps, right? Okay, in I've clumps seen, with enough room to walk between them. I've seen several. Go okay. oh, between them? Are you crazy? The mold is on the shelves. The shelves are on the sides, you know, on the walls. Oh, okay. So but the crates through. are on the floors, or the crates are on the shelves? Um. No, you said there was really the nothing crates, else on the, the shelves. The crates are on the shelves. Okay, so the uh, crates are on the shelves are empty. There are a few crates, old crates on the okay. shelves. So is and there, there are clumps of yellow mold? Okay, on the shelves too, uh, where, where the crates are. Where the crates are. Nothing uh, on the floor though. No. Okay. I, I say we move on. Who's got the highest constitution? There's an easy solution here. Stop thinking like a ranger. Unseen Think sir. like a wizard. I'm sure my master would have a solution for you. We could try our unseen servants too. Put the mold to sleep. Indeed. <laughs> Put the I, was thinking, the thing I was thinking of a clever use of but, a bubble head. But chart. they may not be strong enough to pick up the box. But they can still trigger the molds. We can we can cover them with molds. Once, that, once it does that. Yeah. Uh, I, don't I, I, I think that this, once again, discretion is a better part of valor. I think we can handle this challenge. Who's in favor of leaving? Oh, I know. I. I Wait, can you move in favor of water up? What do you need, brother? Water? water? Yeah. I think we can do this. All right, I'm fine with that. That's the last All right, then let's do it quick. Go for it. I think we burn it. We don't, we don't, we don't futz around trying to get out of there. We burn whatever we can. That's it's that's Friday. Let's do an unseen servant. Try to pull it down He's first. Burn and then we can send an unseen servant. In it's a giant rock building. <laughs> <laughs> unseen servant can only lift 20 pounds, though. Yeah, how big is the crate? How big is the crate? Do we, do we think the crate looks bigger and heavier than 20 pounds? I mean, it's impossible to say because you don't know what's inside them, but the crates are probably maybe three by three boxes. There's yeah. no way 
Okay, so the wood alone on a three by three box could be more than twenty pounds. So it's right. easy. Wait, there's and a yellow mold together working tandem. You is, just you give a torch to an unseen right. servant. It burns yeah, the mold, the and then it stops burning the mold and, and, and throws a blanket on when the mold is destroyed. Done. Yeah, but Shall we? Or to make sure because is there any yellow mold on the crates themselves or just on the shelf? Well, yes, it's kind of intertwined with the crates. There's there's clumps of mold. I know they count six different clumps of mold that. That's sitting yeah, in between crates. I think we just set the unseen servant in, but nothing. We have light it up, and then we check in two turns. Yeah. The crates aren't going to be. Yeah. The are yeah. These are yeah. crates. Yeah. Yeah. We'll handle the fire. We, yeah. we have yeah. probably yeah. in the middle of the two. I totally agree. Yeah. 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 All right. So, Master Ducat has the recommendation. So, so we're going to send in an unseen servant with a torch. I was just going to just go to sleep. hold. Once it's finished that chore. We'll give it two turns to burn all the mold yeah, off. Yeah, then we'll go in and deal with any fire remnants because we have all the water we got from the store. Our next meeting in February, so I want okay. to talk to you and about And if you like, we can open the door and Mephistopheles can look in. He's got better eyesight than all of us. I don't know what he's going to see. So you can sufficiently yeah, instruct an unseen yeah, servant to do all that. You are able to tell it to do chores and, and tasks, you know, such as opening drawers, lifting items, burning mold. Burn the mold. Burn mold. I think burn mold might be basic enough. Yeah, so we really want to... It's not, it can't fight, burn. to be clear. It's not able to fight. Um, but it can lift items. It can hand you a potion in the middle of a fight. Uh, what does the Unseen Servant description say for the folks less familiar with it? Right, they try to limit the amount of adults that, nice that aren't leaders well, because some people haven't seen those them. adults who got their bed that would be available Towards to the light bed. Agreed. So, um, uh, just, 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 with yeah, I don't, I don't see any reason why you can't successfully do it with instructing the Okay, okay. Well, well then, uh, Ducat will cast uh, his unseen uh, servant. Okay. Well, okay. Fourth on burn. Are you going to close the door? But we'll close the door. Yes. And yes. Oh, you can you can hear activity in there. You hear some puffing, popping sounds. How's the unseen servant going to know when? His job is done. We're just going to open the door in two turns and well, peek in. Well, we told, we told him to burn all the clubs. Right. Okay. During the day, she would not be with uh, That unseen servant lasts for, for what do you one of the six turns plus one. Plus one for one turn for eight minutes. Eight minutes. Oh, okay. He does like that. So we're waiting two turns. You'll have six turns left. Will the unseen servant know if it's successful or not? Well, we say open up the drawer. It's it's. Actually, here's the We say, just say, go in. Burning every clump of mold. Yeah, like I know it can wait and open the door. Elizabeth, it can. Um, it can open doors. Indiana, it would kind of wait. It's it's the time. I'm pretty sure it's certain. Well, that's a good question. I think it's an intelligent right. creature. It's intelligent, it's intelligent enough, enough to obey. Um, it's got to be intelligent enough to obey. Yeah, command, so. uh, no, I don't think so. Not unless it can hear you. You can say walk around the room five times. So, yeah. <laughs> And then open the door. It's incorporeal. That's good. That's pretty right. like a so computer for Float around the room like one of his Lego robots. Light all the mold on fire. Walk around the room five times. Yeah. 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 Walk around the room five times. And, the and, the 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 and then him carry the torch around five times. Yeah. That'll burn any uh, spores that are in the air. Yeah. That'll burn the air. There you go. Right. Well done, team. You know, you're really yeah. good at this. is like a Lego competition. Okay. You set the unseen servant as your robot. <laughs> so after seven turns, or seven minutes, the unseen servant opens the door. And there's um, smoke. smoke. There's a little bit of smoke. Right. There's still a little small cinders that are burning on some of the crates. Right. And um, the the clumps right. are and all gone. Right. That's why we wanted to. Let's well, pop the water before they uh, get any worse. Uh, we open the door. You know, in retrospect, the clock has just soaked all the mold down with its launch force. I think it will launch force. It might just get worse. So yeah, we'll keep it in mind next time. Or we'll use our water skins to soak down. And, and this is an example of why I have right. chosen to follow yeah. the path of magic. Master Ducat so demonstrates the, that the this was a waste of water. So while you're in the middle yeah, of the same way you create stuff, it's in certain well, yeah. Which sort are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Can I take a look at the Guys, we need to start guarding ourselves from behind. Yeah. When we say start throwing, we have to put like two guards because at the door. Because you know best how we have, I agree. Um, sorry, I was looking at the so yeah. from now on, standard operating procedure will always be Ashley and your other guy. No, me. Okay. 
Jaylark? I, 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 I watched Great Sir. I have nothing of value in them. That was fun. Well, what, what is it? Moldy Tangerine. Okay. It's like but I'm bad. <laughs> okay, we quickly go down the other hallway. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. We search this for secret, uh, secret doors and crap. Yeah. So I'm, picturing, I'm totally picturing a secret door behind a uh, yeah. three, shelf. We got three elves. They got a 50% chance each. Because yeah, the elves, 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 Secret door for you guys. Right. Yeah, well done, LD. That's kind of why you keep them around. You missed it. First time. Oh, it's, is it a stone door? You weren't paying attention. Also, you hear a. Right. As the unseen servant disappears, and then air rushes in to fill the vacuum created by its absence. Like a fart in the wind. A little bit. Yeah. Not at all. Yep. Yeah. That's an explosion. Which makes me think that if you cast Summon Unseen Servant, let's say it's like five feet tall, then you would feel a little bit uh -huh. of a breeze as it displaces the oxygen in the place where it now occupies. You better hope you weren't in a three-foot box. Right. It's because kind of, then it would have displaced all your oxygen, and now you are going to die. And you can, you're the chemistry teacher, so tell me if I'm right about this, but you can actually kind of manipulate that mechanic to your advantage. As like, an explosive device? Right. Yes, yes, you could create pressure in an enclosed, sealed... Capsules summon your unseen servant into it, like a, a couple ball. of them. Well, does an unseen servant actually? Yeah, I don't think it takes matter. It does, does it because take... it can carry. Mm -hmm. I assume it has. Well, no, because it could just be a force. Yeah, yeah. this yeah. is magic. Yeah, it could just, be, like just be a force. It can take six points of magical but damage. Just and FYI, disappears. that's the entire principle of an IED. Yeah, yeah. Just, right. you know, or any or right. bomb. They, yeah. For, For example, bomb. a shadow a creature that you might run into. How much is a shadow weapon? Yeah. Or a gelatinous cube. I touch it. You touch it? You right. touch it? Yeah. I, I touch it. Uh, <laughs> do you touch it? Master Jakat, do you require some silence so that you too can now... I can wait. Memorize? Okay. You have, you have yours up, so I can wait. And uh, Eldang says, open the door is pretty easy. Just step on this, yep. this pressure this plate. Pressure plate. Door pops open. And it opens up into a, a small 20 by 20 foot by 10 feet. Two squares on now we're getting to the door. Right. Make sure you speak loud enough, Joel, so that the microwave. Uh, uh, I want to serve Like this, Joel? Oh. Like this, Joel? Yes. 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 With another door. And a door, <laughs> a regular door is right there. Yep. Okay. Directly in front of us. Here. Yep. Right. Okay. Let's check this room. What, what do I see before I walk in? <coughs> what was the deal? Yep. Right. Scope. Pokey, pokey, pokey. Uh, there's a hokey pokey and I turn myself around. There's absolutely nothing in this room. Absolutely nothing. Right, anymore. right. It's a pass through. It's just a random. Seems like a random, around, we were, seems like a random pass through. through. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna check this room, make sure. Can't believe friends then, sleepover party that one troop is all. Two L's and a door. Find the door. Three L's and a door. Certainly, so if you six of you look, look it, twice, including the L's. Three and a half L's. Yeah, and find. Make sure that. Okay. okay. It's clear. Okay, so we go to the other door. I assume you guys want to keep going through doors? Sure. Okay. I like walking in circles. I'm good with Hear nothing. Hear nothing. Okay. Check for traps. Pressure plates. Pressure plates. No slope pass. Right. No pressure plates. Okay. Open the door. Right. There's one truck that opens up into a 20 by 20 room. And you're at the northwest part of it. That is planning to go to Switzerland. And so this is a fundraiser for them, but it's also to help out. Yeah, but I, I don't think we should have access to that. Oh, uh, for our familiar? For the black cat? To get ready. Oh. I mean, one way or the other, have to do a sweeper uh, prior to... Storage. Okay, check the uh, check the room out. Look for con what do I see? Look for contents before I walk in. This yeah. room looks empty except for a large wicker basket in the middle of the room. Okay. The community center one is February, February, February. February. What do you what do you think? Snake? Or, or dirty laundry? Dirty pyramid laundry? But think of it. Talk. We would get one of those heavy or a wicker basket full of treasure. What they said. We could what? I see your temple. Put a yeah. heavy crate on the yep. top of it. We'll just keep you know, the cap. If you can let no, I might get tap a pole, but let's see what's inside. Just we can do it from ten feet away, then we can be able to see. Yeah. We can so the safety the door. door. So searching the room, checking for any traps anywhere oh. before I go up to the wicker basket. As do I. Hmm? The floor well, feels okay. solid and everything. Right. Building. Another secret door. Another secret door. 
um, on the southern another wall time. to the like, east. Okay. I identical to the yes. one you found in the other room. So same pressure plate right. kind of open. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Mephistopheles, the black cat, has superior hearing. Does he hear right. anything coming yeah. from within the quicker? But because like he's, he's I, hissing I, a little bit. Me personally, uh, gentlemen, I'd rather not do I this. I believe there is some hissing coming from within the basket. Because of the expense. Because he's hissing. Is the cat hissing or is the basket hissing? Just one. The cat is hissing. The cat is hissing. That it did. Be able to okay, I really thought I hit like a conventional word. It was like, I, I was like you know, a decision was made. I think I think I think in the matrix they call that something. Uh, can we just set the wicker basket on fire? Deja vu. Oh, no, I want to be. Why? 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 I just saw my arrows through it, and then I saw another one that looked like it. Set it on fire. Yeah, let's be done with it. Burn the treasure map that's there. No, yeah, that's a good point. Right now, we just stab the wicker basket. Okay, so I listened to the basket. Do I hear anything? So. Uh, there may be some creature we can't do it of some at sort there. It would still be mm. Some living center, but creature. It would be all right, so we all get behind. We all wait out in the hallway. Yeah. Okay. You reach for your, your tempo right. pole. We should reach the center of the room. Yeah. Yep. Flip the lid open. So. Yep. And we yeah, see what pops yes. up. Okay. And, and get somebody with a shield. Do it, do it from behind yeah. somebody with a shield. I do it from behind somebody with a shield. Yeah, because well, I don't have a shield like that. I get behind Ashley. Third. Yeah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're get behind Dora. No, no, no. You're in my spot. <laughs> rather so the, uh, he really wants to do this group one, and I would rather do. So the basket so, tips so toward you. So I put you. it out there. We can see that's good. And well, it falls over, and the top falls off. Because Perfect. For her, it's hard. Does for anything her come out? Find time to do just can we see into the basket? Because we were talking about doing it over February, the two days on February, right? Having Who's got the best Monday eyesight? Night, we uh, well, I'm an I'm an elf. <laughs> I'm an elf. <laughs> yeah, I got pretty good eyesight in the darkness. The dwarf had pretty good eyesight. Like the dwarf, 60 feet, the dwarf and I have lower, vision. The dwarf has a lower uh, angle of incidence. But it is a cold-blooded creature, so it won't show Could be cold-blooded. But I can also see in the dark 60 feet. Okay. She's yeah. finding hard to The other two don't see anything, but Eldane says, I think there's some some kind of snake in there. I think they may kind of go back to her. Why did it have to be snakes? Oh, I feel so bad I didn't think of that. I guess, yeah. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Because to expect to expect. What comes next? You know, I, it, for me, it cost me $50. Dun, 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 dun. I find a better way to spend $50 what is, um, on a night What's his name saying? Oh, he's you go first. You go first. Yeah, he says you go first. What did he say before? Asps. 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 Very, Very yeah. dangerous. Uh, Very dangerous. Asps. Asps. Uh, okay. Um, so, so the is way the way snake just still in the basket? Yeah, yeah, you haven't disturbed the basket no, enough to disturb the snake. Okay. Back in the Can I tell what kind of snake it is? No, from the distance that you're at. Like, okay. Jules is true. Jesus, uh, the kind of snake that makes has good eyes. Um, um, can can Mephistopheles give us any additional details on what it looks the like? The day, the day he can talk there, to you, right? Yes. He says those are vipers. Those are vipers? There's two of them in there. Thank you, Mephistopheles. I will make sure that you stay far away from those creatures. Would, Gentlemen, would we be able to shoot arrows mm -hmm. into the we're looking snakes at from where we are? Two vipers. Like shooting vipers in a barrel. In a like basket. shooting vipers in a basket. No, I think no, if I roll one of those glow balls in, that'll light up the room enough that you can see them to fire your arrows. Is that acceptable? Oh, yeah. What? Sure. You just got to kind of roll. Keep it low so I can get those So arrows. much like duck pin bowling, uh, Elric will take his glow ball that he got from the guts of the fire beetle. He will roll it into the center of the room. But not, not into the basket. But, yeah. not, but not into the basket. Hopefully okay. illuminating the room enough that the archers can do their thing. Okay. Right. Ready? But One, no, two, three. So when you do that, the it's two asps like my co and I, we scurry like out room, and attack you. And, then the girls and they're so the fast that they even from automatically the entrance. And, 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 and we have our bows drawn. Because yep. we were sleeping there and then... My goodness. Wow. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm glad I'm in the back. Yeah, really. I was like, <laughs> pit vipers always attack first. It's you don't say they attack it's first it's unless you've got it's arrows it's pointed at them. They always do. Yeah. We're going to attack you, though. Oh, yeah. They're going to attack you. Oh, I thought it was me. Yeah. That the stop police is a target, by the way. I put him back in my backpack. I protected him from it. Did yeah. yeah, he did. He okay. that, 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 yeah. I protect yeah. you? Okay. I protect him. I'll, I'll buy that. I never heard backpack. Oh, sorry. I did say I protect him, but I didn't say backpack. That's his default spot. Yeah. All right. Bye-bye. So one uh, scurries over to Ashley, and one scurries over to Darter. I'm considering jumping in front of Ashley with my shield. Nah. You know what? Because if she gets bit, I can suck out the poison. Oh, okay. <laughs>
We say, we say not to do that. I don't care. We say you got a better chance of hurting your throat than Marlo's saying that. Yeah. I might care. And actually, it really doesn't work. Oh, okay. So the one going after Ashley. Yeah, how much poison just sits in there? In there? Hits. Wait, with a 17. Oh, for your trouble. And the one going after Garter. At least you didn't say save versus poison yet. Yeah. 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 Create an it's class really one. hard to create that much suction yeah. well. This is with an 8. Sure. Why do you hit me every single time when I never hit Jeff? <laughs> oh, they have two attacks. Oh. So the second attack against Ashley. This is with an 8. Second attack against Garter. This is with a six. I'm guessing these are bite attacks. Oh yeah. Or a tail whip. Who knows what they have? Headbutt. I don't think vipers attack with their tails. I just want to make sure so that I know how to properly console Ashley when we're done dispatching these villainous creatures. Yeah. Good thing you weren't caught. We could have just left the basket alone and moved on. We <laughs> so knew something was in there. She, she loves it. What? She we should just left the basket alone. No, because you know there's any treasure in it. Yeah. yeah. Something this dead. Or they would have snuck up behind us. Yeah. Although we could, if we can get them back in the basket, we could use them against the next things that attack us. Just kind of. Okay. <laughs> here's um. Why didn't we think of that? Here's just the first the big roll of the adventure. Save oh, save versus, versus poison. poison. Yep. Do we want to use the? I'm pulling out old reliable. Do we? How good is old reliable? Pull is when I fail. Do you pull out the other stuff. Oh, that's okay. That's how that works. I'm guessing. All right. Yep. Oh, that's not good. I was oh. just going to say the problem 14. with that. Oh, 14 is good, maybe. Level 2 fighter. The problem with that is that oh. it has. Uh, I think that has. Because 14 works for a level. You don't know what it actually ends up. No wonder how he does so well. You could pick from one of three different numbers. So, uh, 7 or 13? 13? Yeah, because I was, I was going to say my my elf, my ranger, level and two my. fighter? 14. 14. Wow. Well <laughs> done. Ashley, Ashley wobbles. She clasps her throat. She's down on her knees. She's wavering. Yes. And trying to shake off. The, All of us are holding our breath. Trying to shake <laughs> off the poison. Okay. Quick. But she, so she continues to, to breathe heavily and shake. But Quick, take her armor off. Quick. Was that, was that before or after Elric got the Perform mouth to mouth. We need, we need chest compression. Step. Okay, so now Marty. <laughs> I step forward. And the one that attacked me, I'm going to attack with my flail. You're going to attack it right there? You're going to try to... Flatten it. <laughs> oh, it's a plus two flail. It's magic. He's flailing about twenty flail. Or natural twenty. Natural twenty. You are on fire. Yeah, I think that's good. Did we establish anything special for natural twenty other than automatic hit? Automatic hit only. That's Six it. damage. And actually, from what I've read, it's not even necessarily an automatic hit. And you have to plus two to damage on that, right? Um, and your strength damage to what's his name? Jake the Snake. It's a viper. <laughs> Damien. Jake Snake's Snake name was Damien. Six yeah. damage to Jake. And you got your strength bonus on that too? Wow. Roll two. Oh. Who's up? Who's up? Power? Uh, 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 yeah. Do, I get, do I get dex bonus to power. damage? No. F ran. Okay. There you go. F ran. Right, I'm going sh- to two. I'm going to shoot at uh, Jake. Is Jake still alive, right? Yep. Uh, oh, 10? That's and with your pluses? That's with the pluses. Yeah. Second arrow? Uh, 24. Ooh. You rolled a natural 20. Yep. Oh my god. And five more damage, because. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Jake you know, don't get any bonuses. And dies. Hmm? You don't get any bonuses for that? No, not to damage. That sucks. If you had a composite bow. That's right, yes. Who's, who's up next? I feel like we've had this Bob, conversation uh, before. Kev Horn. Uh, How much damage did I actually take? I think it <coughs> Three. Well, she was hurt already. Uh, Kevhorn strikes with his mace. Oh, was she hurt already? Does Kevhorn need to give healing? She has 17 left. Oh. Right. I guess we'll hold off on that. She's got a pansy like man. Uh, he rolls a three, so <laughs> Kevhorn cool. strikes with his mace. Uh, the viper scurries to the left, and his mace thuds into the stone floor, of the, causing a low booming sound. His turn is done. You have no creative description. Roll. He's a dwarf. He's fascist. Eight damage. <laughs> smash or no smash? Actually, smash creature now, or smash uh, I think that Elric's going to hold off on his turn still. Okay. And we move on to Eldane and Kyle. Eldane and Kaylar. Uh, Kaylar, okay. So uh, Eldane will go first. He'll pull out his uh, magic longsword. And he'll speak to it first. 
And I'll say, what's the best way to kill these things? And the sword says, Slash cut the off throat. their heads. Is the viper? Yeah. Well, the sword mm-hmm. says, cut off the viper's head. Is there, is there Any misses? Mm. That's unfortunate. Uh, and uh, Kalar pulls out her short sword. The last four And she crushes yes. with a 17. Because Harry died before. Okay. Did. And what's the name of the snake? Uh, Damien. 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 Damien? What? Or Nagini. Nagini? Nagini. Nagini. What's Nagini. that? Nagini. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Oh, Harry Potter. Nagini. Nagini. Yes, Nagini. Okay. Might as well hit Viper, but that works better. She has a. She rolls an 8 for damage. Uh, so Nagini takes a big shot. His head is almost hanging off, but he's still slithering. That's my girl waiting for me. Okay, yeah, actually, the attack was actually shot for the. Uh, it's like your bedroom. But... Um, you almost can't see her. She <laughs> she's she's got the black eyes. Ashley can have a shot at minus 2. I got, I'll throw my 3 darts first. Eighteen, fourteen, and eight. Send it back to your doggy. Okay, sorry, I won't do that then. It's like you didn't see me coming to pet you. So your eighteen you probably out. definitely hit. Yes. So two of the three hit. You said eighteen, fourteen, eighteen. Uh, eighteen, so fourteen, and eight. Straight, so one straight up. I gotta still check my dart damage. You think it's a you kill, You're gonna kill it. It's got one hit point. Is mm-hmm. it more than one? <laughs> Is it one or more? Roll a zero. I rolled a three. Ooh, okay, so well Ducat lands the. Hey! That blow on the the my sister. A mage who gets a killing Second blow. pit viper that, that you can see. Well, it's just Kayla. <laughs> you can see. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> With a dart. I could check it out. I, Kev- pick up, I pick up my darts. Kevhor intends to uh, Ashley. Are you well? Just give me a few. Hey. Do you require the healing of the goddess of. Can we uh, the get, get their, collect their venom glands? Can collect their venom? a lot more good well, meat right here. They're all slashed to pieces now. Can I go check the basket out? It's already cut into bite-sized chunks. Elaine says there's tons of good coins meat. in here. So, tons. Tons uh, of coins in the basket? Are they poison? I, we should just make sure they were in a, in a vat of... Oh, there are platinum coins in there? Mm-hmm. There's 3,000 silver pieces and five gems. You want a gem? Okay, How I, would we carry all five, this? I take the five gems. I carry the basket. And and we get a basket. <laughs> Good thing we didn't destroy the basket. <laughs> okay, so five, five gems? Five gems worth 10 gold piece, 50 gold piece, 100, 100, and 500. Wow. Ooh. If we burnt it, would we just have a molten block of silver? They'd be fine, right? Yeah. Maybe tarnish a little bit or burn. Black and just rub it off. Yeah. A little shine. Rub it out. That's what I usually do. Are the coins? Are the Gorm's treasure room? And by the way, are the coins like uh, 2,000 years old? Do we recognize the faces on them and things like that? They're flat. Do they I told you there's no face on them. <laughs> flat. They weren't minted and then were minted. Okay, so there's 3,000 silver no, pieces. Key, not a D. Or I could just take the five gems say, worth silver. 750 gold pieces. Do they have symbols have of those kind of of the people uh, statues, yeah. okay. like the Gorm guy? So write down 3,000 silver pieces. So how long does it take us to count 3,000 silver pieces? Ha, 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 ha. Was that 367 well, or 367? Well, Eldane's got this miraculous oh, power where he could visualize and just look at the... Eldane just looks at it and says, there's 3,128. Eldane has a scale. There's four left in the box. You guys know if you have the ability to... Eldane says there's only four silver pieces in here three and one gem second. worth 10 gold pieces. It would take you 1,000 seconds to count that. I don't know what the rest of you see, but that's all you're going to know about. It would be enough time for the announcement. All right, let's check out that secret door. Yeah, it operates the same way, the pressure plate. Step on the plate. So All right, Elding steps on the plate, pops the door open. This, you got a little work to do now. Bring it. <laughs> so it opens up in the, into a hallway. Uh, there's 20 feet from you, and then it. How do I describe it? This is a 30 foot hallway, in these three squares. <sighs> Those three squares are active. And, and it turns to the south on the east side here, and it slopes northwest on the west side. My digital? Yes. That angle about right? About right, yeah. Okay. After you do this, take a screenshot, Josh. <laughs> yep. Let's stop there. 
Yep, this is or, or one square. Oh, right there. Yeah, okay. one square. Right there. Yep. And then it goes 30 feet and turns to the sun. 30 feet? Is it here? Yep. This is 10, 20, 30. So it turns south right here. Okay. This is the last one. Do you remember back in the days wandering underneath Abraham's tavern? It comes from here down. So much more simple back then. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, just go straight south. Go straight across. Yep. And at this square, it turns south. Okay. Straight south. <sighs> So the third one over goes down, Josh. Come on. He's got this. Don't knock our cartographer. He's doing it all in MS Paint once again. It's impressive. And then Joel is this. He's badass. Like this? Correct. And zoom it up like that. All right. There's a door there or something, or you can you can see that this passageway ends here, so it's only 20 feet, and the door is in the corner. Coming from sloping, sloping sideways. I just want to go to a coma until my body takes care of it. Oh, that's second my square door. Have a slippery ride home. The door turns. So, yeah, yeah, I don't have a good way to rotate the door, Joel. Well, as long as you got the picture. Yeah, I think it's okay. Okay. Yeah, with felt. <sighs> does the um does this hallway t tend to slope up or down either way? No. Thank you. Very welcome. So it's like this joint. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's a door? It's a door. Oh, e come on. Everything blue is a door. <laughs> Opens it or out. Everything yellow is a secret door. Yes. Door. Are you going to walk down there to find out? Well, there we can, we can see it. Well, this is 20 feet down around the corner. I say we go up the angle. A little way. Sure, let's go see the top up. Sure. Top. We'll go northwest. Oh, look, does the door open, Joel? Because it's awfully close to this thing here. All right, fine. Is the door open? Check the door. Is it locked? Yeah, it does. It, <coughs> it appears to be unlocked, but it won't open. Honor, so maybe it is locked. So <laughs> it's locked somehow. Okay. <laughs> That door faces what direction? Southeast. I don't know. Southeast. Oh, the buttons? Yeah. The buttons? Could so be. why don't we send somebody back to press the southeast button? I don't no, let's, well, let's, let's finish this one. Wait, guys, there's like no, a piece of the party. party. Somebody eat it. No, oh, separate the party. Let's go up to the northwest. I know. I think we're going to add a northwest ends at a door. I already have it. Okay. That appears to be open, but it's locked. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll go northwest yeah. instead. But there's another door. There's another door at the top there? Oh, yeah, wherever you're, whenever your sloped hallway evens with this room, I guess right about there, there's a door. Okay. Right here? Yeah. On so that square? We have no choice. Yep. Um, we go back to the other side. That's true. We can keep it actually be this one, the next one over. Yeah, you got to extend out those lines at the angle they're currently at. Yep. All right, he's doing a good job. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. So, All right. Joel, walking up to that door, I check to see if it's locked. Same thing, right, Joel? Same, same thing I did before, check for traps. I'm helping him. We're also checking for uh, secret, secret doors. doors. Um, <laughs> Oh, sorry. Right. Yeah. Josh, help your wife. Nope. Do you ever try to help her? All kinds of things. She doesn't want my help. 
Not good enough. Can't get better if I have someone else do it for me. Well, that's true. So near the top of the door, you see something that makes the hair stand on your arms. It's a cobra slithering around right outside the door. And it sees you, so it's slithering toward you. Arrows. Barrage. Fire. Ninety. Aim. No, just fire. Oh, how fire. close? How close is it to me? Way go. About twenty feet away. You can watch. You can't do that on television. Okay. So Ephraim, who really appears to be the expert on all creatures. I dude, I've been studying. So that's a spitting cobra. That's a spitting cobra. Stand away. It spits. It, it, Shields it, at the ready. It'll spit poison at you. It'll spit poison at you. I have my shield at the ready. Close the door. I get behind There's Garter. no door. It's in the hallway. Oh, sorry. Well, I shoot arrows now. Yeah. I, I, I move I behind Garter and an arrow and draw, draw my arrow. arrow. Okay. I throw my hammer. Okay, Thor. If I was ah. an axe, I'd throw my axe. I'd buy my axe. axe. <laughs> he's, he's probably so <laughs> axe. You haven't even seen that movie yet, have you? Of course. Uh, yeah, you get an initiative this round. <laughs> my axe is going to be great. You'll get an attack too if you slow round. No. No, it's from Army of Darkness. It's from Army of Darkness. In my bow. Eleven. You can count on my steel. And my ox. That's from Lord of the Rings. Nope. Yeah, this is Lord of the Rings. Yeah, that's a hit. Oof, I throw my throwing uh, axe. Excuse me. It bounces along the ground. Step in. <laughs> it, it hits uh, hilt first and then bounces and it hits him right in the uh, right in the throat. Right, that's some wild well, most of it. Ooh. Hey, nice. Five damage. Is it a bonus? Yeah. yeah. What'd you roll? One? He needs an aim. Uh, I think that would go with Damien. Damien Cobra. Damien Cobra. It, with the, um, the instincts of a um, Cobra blank. And instincts of Cobra. He flings his axe, angles perfectly Ooh. right at his neck. Slices the neck right off. Unbelievable. That's been One shot. Bounces huh? harmlessly off the wall. I thought it was a hammer. Well, if and you guys really need, need some reminding, that dwarf over there is genetically engineered. He has no ability score underneath 13. <laughs> he rolled amazingly. Even his charisma. Okay, my charisma's 12. 12. He's Just pretty. He's, 12. he's a pretty dwarf. Okay, can we cook the cobra skin? Oh. See, so yeah, since it's just. It's going to well, taste like chicken. Well, you yeah, don't want to cook no, the you, skin. Yeah, you, you cook skin the cobra yeah. and then cook the meat. But we have enough food now. But, but it's, it's a delicacy. We could compare that to the. Uh, it's a last. Well, Savor the experience. Well, you cut well, the head off. Yeah, the head off. The rest of the body would have been. All the poison's up in the head. It's got poison glands up there. Well, then go ahead. You want to cook the cold? No, I'm good. Let's go through the door. Maybe we uh, make a yeah, necklace. Yeah, we get to the door. How big off poison? How many feet long? Um, three feet long. Okay. Okay. Long enough, Mike. It's a baby. It's a belt. Oh. It's a baby cobra. Yeah. Ephraim points out it can spit uh, poison six feet. Really? It can spit poison six it's feet. Right, right uh, your it wasn't dead. Right uh, your eyes. Hurt that one. It could have. <laughs> <laughs> Next time we face a snake like this, let's stand seven feet away. <laughs> yeah. Taunt it. And then no, then we beat it with our ten foot pole. <laughs> <laughs> we put like a little. Uh, okay, Joel, like about the door. Uh, I think you just sharpen the tip on that thing. <laughs> you don't hear anything. You don't hear anything. Yeah, like do a I, do I, do No traps. Bad. Is it, a, oh, does it open? It opens. Okay, yeah, so I open it. All right, this opens up into a... What in it? 40 by 40 foot room. Is it the corner? No, this is a square number two. So one square this way, two squares this way. It's supposed to be equal with the top of this. 10, 20, right. Darter points out this should be the corner, the northwest corner of the pyramid. You guys, this looks like the northwest corner. That's good because we were heading in the northwest direction. This room is a ruined <coughs> chapel of some kind. Tattered tapestries hang on the walls. A dusty altar along the north wall is covered with a rotted altar cloth. The candlesticks, offering bowl, and holy yes. symbol on the yes. altar yes. are carved yes. out of wood. Yes. The holy symbol looks like an eye. Next to the altar, you see a, a six-foot-long lizard with wide flaps of skin between its legs. A flying lizard. So it's a chapel with uh, tattered Top tapestries stuff and a lizard. I, I do not go anywhere near the tapestries. I do not attempt to cut them. 
And it's uh, a living lizard? Well, Efren and Kale are, aren't quite sure what that is. It's too far away to identify precisely. The, the, the lizard? Yeah. The lizard knows we're here. It's a clearly alive. Right. Not a statue. Is it moving around? It's not a statue. Is, is it showing up on any provision? Um, it's cold. It's next to the altar. It, it's cold. It appeared to something behind the altar appeared to have its attention. No, it knows that you're in the room now, so it's scurrying over toward you. Uh, I well, unless uh, unless uh, yeah. statues can skip can slither or skitter. <coughs> I will take my throwing axe. You're gonna roll for initiative. It, it, oh, it jumps, it leaps in the air. Okay. It spreads its wings. Hold on. One. Six. So. At least Jeff, Jeff, at least you didn't waste a good roll on it against the six. Yeah. So it it's leaping toward Ephron. What did I do? You try to identify it. How oh, did it know? Ooh, this thing's pretty cool. You look at me. You look at me. What are you looking at? If you really wanted to, you could put your uh, board dock in columns. You got you got the tough armor class though. Right? I, I I've not been using my shield, so I think my AC is a positive one. Yeah, right, I'll make you happy. Positive one. Mm. Yeah. Well, with the shield, we've got a negative one. And it hits with a twenty. Oh no. <laughs> this doesn't matter. Huh? How many attacks? So you yeah. Got a ton of ex- uh, the there you go, Adam. Is that better? Yeah, sure. Uh oh. Zero damage. Oh, that's a ten. <laughs> Zero damage. So the Ouch. Not what you can now recognize as a Draco lands a great big bite on your neck for ten points of damage. <laughs> Get the Draco off me. Is that a curse? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, don't move. We'll no. shoot from here. Darter's gonna throw his axe to at your neck. No, okay. I'm gonna go from the, no, the cops I just wanna know one thing. Missile does a mess. Mm. How does this damage thing work? How does this damage thing work? <laughs> oh. So you've got this thing called hit points. This and is NAS a nasty creature. creature. This is the toughest yeah. one. I, I ordered a uh, uh, NAS uh, storage, network storage. Device. Oh, okay. All right, so I am going to, um, before anybody else can act, I'm going to th- toss my magic missile at it, which is an automatic hit, nice. hopefully dislodging it from Adam's deck, mm. doing maximum nice. five damage. Ooh, very nice. Well done. Good usage of a spell. You uh, need to name it. Geico. Draco? Malfoy. Malfoy. <laughs> Malfoy. Draco Malfoy was the, one of Harry Potter's nemesis. 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 Harry Potter's really handy. Well, I was, she drew from many, many sources. Okay. So it, it's got a good slice in them now. Did I knock him off the magic missile? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he, he, I'm not sure he was hanging on to your neck. He took a bite. <coughs> it right. wasn't quite like Rick trying to get away from the guys who were getting ready to assault Carl. Woo! Uh, now, I guess I'm all here. Ashley will take her swing with her long sword. Twelve. Plus. Nothing. That was fun. Nothing? Level two fighter. You wouldn't have done that? I didn't say I wouldn't have done that. I'm just like, that's a mess. Okay. All right, I'm out. Next. Mikey? All right. Oh, they don't step up. We'll go this way this time. With his bow. Okay. Jeff will be last. So Bob will always be the best. That's fine. <laughs> okay. 17 and a 16. Those are both hits. Okay. How oh, oh, make it warm in here. 81. Ooh. 9, 10 points of damage. No, 11 points. I'm sorry, 11 points of damage. There's two arrows there. It's hurting. It's certain? It's still Ooh. not flying around. Okay. Kalar will go. <laughs> that was one character? Jeez. No, it was just one. All I'm doing is bleeding over here. 17 and a 14. Four. No, sorry, 17 and a 13. 17 hits. 17 hits. Hmm. Four points of damage. And that's enough to finish it off. Okay. Wow. Draco. <laughs> Draco. Can, can I get some help over here? Kevlar Kevlar <laughs> reaches over to the wound and uh, applies a bandage, says, Stay still for a moment. And he murmurs words of his faith to his god. Uh, Cure Light Wound spell is cast for 1d8. Can I borrow a d8? Oh, yeah. And I don't think level impacts Cure Light Wounds, right? It's just 1d8? Yeah. Uh, the first one is for 3. 
And he's going to redouble his efforts. He's got four left. He'll do another on you. Two. So you're at five. Heck, we'll do one more. And a third pure light wounds. <laughs> Three, two, one. So yeah, he held up light. He held up wounds. six. Of it's a very six. light pure wounds. That, that's what me, that puts me at twenty hit points. Should I? Should I go? I'm only down more? four. I have two. No, he's wounds down left. four. He's fine. Nah, I'm good. All he's right. just, this is good. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe you should. Pray to the goddess of healing instead of the goddess of magic. Sakara shall bless you. <laughs> All things happen for a reason. You shall Woo! Oh, man. Um, Eldane uh, starts to search the room. Kalar is going to keep watch it, look out for anything else by the door. Uh, behind the altar where the, the Draco was yep. are the remains of a human thief. Is it is it snatched uh, uh, out? Yeah, it's dead. Huh? We, I, yeah, I killed it with, with a bunch of Draco uh, bites. Okay. okay, so the thief I died from it. Draco bites. So I okay. I, I, I look to uh, uh, Ashley for you know consolement. You know we've right. now both. Been um, I searched the, 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 the body. body. The body has a full uh, thief in a sack <laughs> with okay. four hundred gold and two gems. Wow. Wow. It's worth hundred gold piece. What race is the thief? Human thief. Does do we get a sense of how long it's the thief has been dead? Not terribly long. And the Maybe clothing... Maybe a day or two. Okay. What else does he have a sack? And the clothing of the thief? And the canteen? The, the sack had okay. 400 gold pieces. I him to just the lobby. The clothing okay. that the thief is wearing, is it those of the people within the pyramid, or does it seem to be more modern clothing from the from outside? No, the he's an outsider. Okay. Uh, any weapons? No. That's why he got... That's why, that's why, he's, why, that's why he's dead. What a horrible thief. He couldn't even steal himself a dagger. <laughs> okay, we search. We search the uh, chapel for a secret. We search for the secret compartment, compartment. under the uh, altar. It uh, was like there's some cities left. There is no secret compartments. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! There's always a secret compartment under the altar. Yeah. Next thing you're gonna tell me, the four elements are not earth, wind, fire, water, or chest. We must have missed five our elements. We clearly must have missed our chest. Yeah. <coughs> Eldane indicates that the um, candlesticks, the bowl, and the holy symbols are made from rare teak wood, and they have some value. Oh, how if religious are we? Uh, well, tell I, us about the what are the, the holy symbol, the like, symbols of the uh, god. The room again. The room is a ruined chapel. It has tattered tapestries hanging from the wall. A dusty altar it is covered with rotted altar cloth. Clearly, the clearly, this god is a fan. I, I well, there, object. There was, there was nothing in there because this thief didn't find anything in here, so. I object. Well, we all know, already know that that thief wasn't a very good thief. Kevlar right, says, he didn't have anything on him. He had no weapons, nothing. Do not Just his sack and a canteen. And he's dead. And do he's not dead. dishonor the, the memory of this place. The gods here may no longer be worshipped, but they still exist, and we should respect them. Do not take the items from the altar. Let us honor these dead gods. I right. suggest. Oh, yeah, I'm not looking around the camera. <laughs> Why just when a god. You kill a yes. Ah! Uh, at least you now hear hearing it instead of in your guns. beds. Yeah. <laughs> was that one? If you kill, if a god dies, then are people worshiping dead gods? Are their sure. temples disintegrate? <laughs> I think the temples stay there. It may be that they no, the, <coughs> the clerics may no longer get the powers. Yeah. Because miracles are no longer returned. I um, thought you were going to say guys, if the god dies. This is a good, spot, this is a good spot for us to set this short camp. Yep. Let's I need to re recover my spells. Uh, Kevlarn could use recovery his spells as well, and he can help out Ashley. So can we, 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 we close and barricade the door? Yeah, we'll Kevlarn. Well, uh, let's check by the tapestries first. I did. Oh. Ashley, I've got, uh, I've got two cure light wounds left. I'll take one. Please. All right. You might as well give the other one to him if you're going to rest and get them all back. I got four. Okay. Well, you might as well just give them a Are you one D8? Well, are we going to rest long enough for him to get them all back? Probably not. I don't know how much we get in a day. I don't, yeah, I don't know One hit point per day, I think? Yeah. yeah that's all I got. Right, so Ashley, are you ready? How much are you down? Five. All right, I'll try to roll well. You Whoa. get exactly five back. All right. Oh, and one more for you? I would say no, but let's get just in case. Two. I <laughs> I, can I sucked up four of your cure lights, and you couldn't cure my ten. I mean, I got you eight points. I'm not complaining. Points. I shouldn't say I, I, I apologize. For, can you remember playing up. Pool of Radiance on your probably Commodore? Yep. And you'd like, like leave Commodore. town, go into that first area. I said, rest, you know, cure, 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 cure. 
Rest in hours, cure, 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 cure. Rest in hours, cure, cure, cure. <laughs> you and know exactly what I'm talking about. When Curse of the Azure Bonds came out, they added, I didn't play that one. They added a new feature. When you hit rest, it automatically has you cast cure spells and then renew them, so you didn't have to do that anymore. I thought that was it was an option when you rested, you could use your your cleric spells to help you. That's right. I mean, I remember that in I probably played a later edition of uh, uh, what you call it. That game. I mean, I did play one on the Neverwinter. Somebody made it as a mod for Neverwinter Nights. Uh, I got as far as going down that alleyway by the docks where the troll was. Oh, the troll. I never beat that troll. I beat him once, and then I forgot to save. Get a thief around his back and backstab. That troll. Him. Actually, the worst part about that troll is the fire part. You, that makes you burn it. Oh yeah. In the in the original, you have to burn it. You have to hit it with a fire weapon, or, or it regenerates. I forgot about that. Acid should be able to take care of it too, right? I mean, it's we need more. Yeah, yeah. But who's got acid? Yeah. I saw that we're playing Dungeons and Dragons Heroes. It's, it's sort of like Gauntlet with three five over it mm. for uh, original Xbox. And we're fighting trolls, and they'll fall down. And if you don't keep hitting them, they get back up again. Mm -hmm. As you're fighting, you can like the damage goes up, and you can see plus ten as they regenerate. Mm -hmm. And we had so much fun. I uh, I downloaded mm -hmm. DOSBox, and uh, about five or six years ago, re re went through uh, Pool of Radiance. I've gotten to the end of that. On a, on a replay, and I've never finished it. So, oh. if I see it getting a crop, yeah. It's pretty oh. satisfying. Yeah. It's kind of fun. I've read the end. It's hard, but I, it was a good fight. Yeah. Anyway, so we're all rested. Okay. Everybody's maxed out. Spells are restored. Really? Not until restored. Joel's done eating his chips. It's been about an hour or two. Joel's chipping it. Five times fifteen. I need an hour and fifteen minutes minimum. Right. Yeah. So now you're carrying about six days worth of water and food. Yep. And how much? Do you just, you're down two hit points? Yeah, well, it's, uh, well I, you get like a hit point back a day of rest. I thought that's Are we resting a whole day? I don't think we're not going to rest. We're taking an hour or two, okay. a couple hours. Yeah, we'll okay. just, yeah. Quick nap. Well, and, how uh, long does it take for a cleric to get back? We're going to rest for a day. I'm going to have to do one or not. We'll do 15 walls. minutes extra rest, and we'll quarters. get you one more cure. I, no, I was thinking how long do we have to be here for you to, to finish, because if you roll a one, Bob, I'm going to cry. No, no, it's an hour and 15 for five. So oh, if okay. I spend 15 more minutes, there's your cure light. Oh, I thought you had six. I wasn't trying to apply really? that you should do another cure light. I, I have six total spells, but I'm keeping bless for one. Okay. And you... You got the one. I got the eight. <laughs> oh! <laughs> so, okay, you're So back. that goes into my temporary hit points, right? Nah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, that, that's one thing I don't like about 5e. They have temporary hit points. I, I, I don't like temporary hit points. They do the 10 hit points? I don't I like that. I actually think it was that bad. But it's not an overheal. It's like specific scenarios. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it, yeah. All the lousy damage Lydia used to do. She used to do some awesome healing. That's, that's true. true. Yes. She did some crazy healing. Yeah. I was just looking at superlatives when we used to keep stats. Oh. And Lydia's healing was in the thousands. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go back to the side of the cheat. I don't know. How long you were up there resting, you did hear somewhere in the distance the sound of some kind of grinding noise. Hmm. So, stone grinding. Stone That grinding? lasted for about 10 seconds. So I imagine that would be when somebody pushes the button and causes one of the yeah. st stone doors to go backwards, mm -hmm. which may mean that we might be trapped. We'll have to see. I would expect that the level divided in half. And then we'll always be able to get to one or so you could actually get trapped in there. Yeah. So let's go back to the other side of the tee. Well, actually, I guess we'll check that bottom one. See, see if it opens. Open. See if it was open before we go back. Can we open that one, Joel? Or is it still closed? It's to the southeast. It's still closed. Okay. <laughs> and we can't open it? It doesn't appear to open. So let's go back to the tee and go to the other side. I agree. Well, you can't get through wow. that door either. That one won't open. Oh, general pretty Right, no, we're going to go to the top of the tee, the top right, where we haven't been yet. Oh, you know what? I mean, um, go back. Yeah, this door does open. Okay. I'm sorry, I, I, um, I heard. That's okay. When okay. did it open? Uh, we have a, we just, just now, now. Tried. Just now, not before. Not, not before. before. Okay. So After we have rest. one issue that we have to think about. It's probably open because somebody pressed the button. If we go all through this door and someone, a stranger, presses the button, we could be trapped on the other side. I don't think the way, I don't think that's the way it's for It's designed. Because we can, all right. Well, let's do so it. So wait, hold on. We can solve the simple. We, we, two of us go through the door. Is there a mechanism on the other side of the door that appears to be able to open it, like the buttons that were in the hallway? In this door is a hallway, a 50-foot long hallway with a door at the other end. You did well. The same eight buttons. The same eight buttons. Okay. So problem solved. So I think the whole hallway spins. The hallway spins. 
No, or the button, so, the buttons, says the buttons control those doors. Mechanism. So it's you can't spin. get trapped in there. If we no, don't I don't think the button control. I think the button makes the hallway spin. What's that, Darter? Yes. It's, it's the spinning mechanism, obviously. Yeah, it's the hallway spin. Yeah, yeah, so right now, for example, the way that it's drawn on our map, the hallway goes the north hallway south. Goes that way. It goes diagonal. And if you press the north button, it goes back to the way we see it now, north south. When we press northeast, it'll go diagonal, top right hand corner to bottom so left. Why don't, so why don't we just go in there and push one of the buttons and see what happens with the hallway? Yeah, yeah. My guess is it, it's, it's just probably like a circular on here. I agree. Yeah. With a angle that goes. Well, that's what I'm saying. Why don't we just go in there and push one of the buttons and see if the hallway actually moves? Oh. Yep. Why don't Okay, well, we press north. That way we, we press, north. Yeah, so. press north. So we so we go in, we press the north button. Okay. So the door is closed. <laughs> so there's, a, you, there's a little grinding. Darter says the, the room is moving. We're moving, guys. And yeah, we feel that. And Thanks, Darter. Yeah, so we, guys, the, we stop. You should know which way we're, we, we're facing now, too, because doors are good like that. Are we facing north, south? Right. Dwarves yeah, always I mean, know their direction. Back, back the door that you, you came from yes. or across? Yes, back the door we came from. Which, right, which, so it opens yeah. up into this hallway here. All right. Let's, let's go. Room. Let's go finish this floor in this section. Uh, let's keep in mind. How long ago did we hear it rumble before we left our room? Probably an hour ago. So someone's been through here within the hour. Within the last hour. So keep your right. guard up. I love it when there's other denizens and we never see them. We just hear them. All right. So we're up there now. And yes, I used the word denizens, and I used it correctly. Okay, not like me last week. And, um, <laughs> did I say denizens last week? This hallway turns um, into a 20-foot hallway south with a door on the south wall. So just like this one. Hmm. You know, we could convince wandering monsters to come halfway exactly. through the door and then right. hit the button and then sever them in half as the <laughs> trap twists, crushing them. All right, so we guess we'll play our game. Look, listen, feel. Is this like the reptile level, by the way? I'm noticing a trend. On this we're in a desert. We're losing a desert. Yeah, right. these are desert type uh, creatures. So oh, yeah. beetles, Bee, lizards. Bees, uh, sprites, and sturges all live in the desert. That's the upper levels. Oh. We're getting into the sand level. Okay. <laughs> okay. Lizards. And no secret doors or traps are found. All right, I guess we go to the door, Mikey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We go through the door. This so opens up. No. Yeah. I have two more. <laughs> this opens up into a 30 foot across by 40 foot down room. The door's on the western part of it, so. This is the. I know first it. I got to move. I got to move to the left one. Yes. Where's the poor healing potions? By 40. 40 down. I wonder if I was kind of right. Right. When I was doing that. Uh, do you want to see my puppy that I'm going to give you? Puppy? Okay. I want puppy. You can kill yourself. Oh. Anyway. Okay. Anyway, we'll be on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Joel and I are playing D&D. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can. This room looks like a ruined chapel. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Did we find anything yeah, in the altar? Dogs. No. Everything else there is racked and worth. You see the handle. Do we listen at the floor before the hinge? Do we hear anything beneath the floor? Shall we trigger the hinge and see what, what do, lies beneath? They do have a lot of energy, though. So they do yeah. With a 10-foot pole, just give it a push. Uh, we use uh, Eldian's 10-foot pole and give the floor a push. The 10-foot pole does not appear to give it enough leverage to move. Why don't we give it <coughs> a quick push the altar out with, with, with dark shit? Yeah. Yeah. We go back to the door, the room where the, the bolt was. We pick up the crates that are there. We bring it back and push those over there. Or we can um, set up blocks across so we can stand on that and still push it down. <coughs> Why don't we fill the basket with our coins and just roll the basket? <laughs> we just drag the basket to full of the 3,000 silver pieces in it. We drag yeah. them. Yeah, we drag the basket. Just, I think Mike, Mike, is that okay with you? But that's no fun. <laughs> we can step on it with people holding on to you. All right, we step on it with people holding on. Okay, and when you step on it, it slowly, very slowly hinges downward to about a 45 degree angle. And it appears to be um, say a ladder going downward. Oh, nose all pushed in. Do we want to leave this level? Or open yet. Up, essentially? Let's finish exploring. What else is there to explore looking at this map? Well, we've got all the North, south, east, west. Plus the that bottom, left, bottom, bottom storeroom. Oh, wait Oh, minute. okay, yeah, yeah. This storeroom? No. No, we came in the staircase. We came in through there. No, we came into the first, when you just went the first. Yeah, we came in through here. Came up through here. No, but keep in mind, that segment of the hallway rotates. In right, so we need to go, right, so what we need to do is go in there, but isn't that, isn't it, it's but connected somewhere, right? There's five more directions that we haven't explored from this hallway. We, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Come back to this quick, hallway, press one of the buttons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't right, we just and get a the quick look with Robert down here and see if this is another level or if this is, is, like a, is this we, a room or we, is this a whole level? Do we feel this is part of another level? Darter says Darter. that this goes on to the next level. Okay. Darter Thank you, Darter. Says. All right, so get your ass off here, Dwarf. So we go back to the main hallway. Go back to the button area. Okay. And, uh, let's, let's go back and let's go back and finish this this one this door. Okay. But we're so, gonna get there. If we push south I would assume something will put us there, yeah. If we push southwest we'll get there that way. Let's just do it that way, no? It'll be fun. Let's do it from the outside. As you wish, Master. You we'll do, we'll master. do it the more circle way. As you approach even your range of tell you that. I, yeah, as you open no the door, you know, you're going to do a great big like bat that flies out and jumps at the point. Oh. <laughs> where where's that? Giant bat roll for initiative. I got this one. Hey guys, I think I know what that is. Four. It looks like a giant bat. Mm -hmm. You can ignore it. I will name it. Ashley is smashed it for 19. Oh wow. I will name the bat Louisville. Woo! Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Louisville takes a whopping two damage. That's including that plus one for strength damage. Oh my gosh. You're supposed to you throw three darts, you know. Wait, it's giant. Does yeah. that mean it's large? Is it you you considered a large Joel? Or, oh no, bats are small by so it's a oh. large bat. It, yeah, it's large for bat size. So medium size for us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, I would say it's medium size. So its body is like the size of your head. Right. Never mind. I whacked it. For um, four damage, you said? No, two. Two damage. Okay. I cannot have an eye. Two. Oh. oh. Wait, we're not supposed to lie in this game? Go ahead, Mikey. I've been playing this game wrong for how many years? Eldin will go, he's going to shoot some arrows at it. I guess it's only one thing we just we'll have to be involved in this. Uh, natural 20 and a 17. Those are both hits. We were rolling basically for this one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Three. Three points of damage. Three and. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we have a long sword hitting for two and two arrows hitting for three. So we've hit this thing three times with five damage. <laughs> hey, I think he's going to fire her short bow. Huh? You gonna tell your sword something for that little wimpy hit? No, I'm gonna yell at the sword later. We're gonna have some words in common. Well, that was just that was your. That own. was the that was the bows, but we're gonna have some words. Uh, all right, so Kalar, she's gonna she's gonna shoot at a two. Uh, she misses with one and an eighteen with the other. Eighteen hits. For two. Still fluttering. Louisville is still fluttering. Uh, Somebody else want to shoot at this thing? How, how high up is it? It's in the hallway, so we can reach it. Then we'll go low. Uh, Efren misses with one arrow. It just walks on down the hall. 
Like totally, we'll, not we'll, even we'll, near. We'll it. That's what we do. Eh. That should hit. That's a twenty. That's a hit. Uh, for six damage. Got it. Dead the, center. And the bat falls. The arrow. The arrow went in the bat's mouth. It's broken bat. Uh, bat's it's broken bat. bat. Uh, my my, my heat search is different treasure. I search it's a flying bat. I think that's. I think There's that's no a treasure on the flying bat. Yeah. No. No. Nothing. Is nothing edible either. Is there anything useful I can make if it's hide? I don't know. It, well, you know, if you could eat it, but you know, it needs garlic. Can I make a batarang with it? I think I realize now when when our dungeon master is telling us there's nothing edible, he's not saying there's not food to eat. He's just saying that our cooking skills don't make it very tasty. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what he means. <laughs> we don't know what it is. Point is, I need some good old southern New Louisiana spices. Josh is assigned me to start checking some of the blogs and see if anybody's ever posted anything about eating. So many different creatures. <laughs> sure. yeah. Well, you made it very clear that we were starving in the desert. I was going to uh, say, it depends. Are we talking about real life or in game? <laughs> all right, so we go we go back around to the store where the food was. We stock up. So we can take a little break. Yeah, take another all the way down here. Yeah. Or check the hallway still there. Okay, so you... And just out of curiosity, we look uh, um, the doors where the hallway leading spins. Are there like buttons to call the hallway to us, or we just have to go find the hallway? Do you mean on the other side? Almost like on the outside, on the outside of the hallway. Are there buttons like an elevator call? Yeah, like what no, if you, what if you go there? Yeah, the hallway's there, there in that hallway on the wall. The only there. buttons are where you got indicated being. Yeah. Not so we could totally be. And they were in the they were in the other. Which ones too? No, the only buttons are in this corridor. Right. right. Not on the outside of the doors anymore. Okay. No, but when we went into that other door, when that door was open, yeah, the, the, hallway there, the hallway was there. Right. Right. But there were no buttons. Only it was the same hallway. It's the same hallway. Yeah, it's it's only turn, turn, hallway. turn the hallway. It rotates. Right. I just to give you more of those. Coming so through. when you saw the buttons, it was because it was turning diagonally. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. Now I got it. You know, it I got it now. That yep, way. yep. Now, now I got it. I'm with you. I was under the impression there were two sets of buttons, Joel, so sorry. All right, so we're doing the same thing on that door. Yep. Standard practice, traps, yep. look, listen, feel. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's not good for us. Dreams. Dreams. You don't hear anything, you don't find any traps. Okay, open the door. <laughs> we leave it alone. <laughs> okay. okay, okay, we go back the other way. <laughs> oh, by the way, do we notice if the food has been replenished, if anybody's carried away the corpses of the... Uh, the carcasses of the beetles? No, you don't see it. does not appear that anybody's been there. All right. Thanks. They could be happy that we were there. Maybe. We just so did an extermination job. This door opens up into a 40-foot long hallway to the north, which uh, splits at a, uh, into a T-intersection. So it's 30 feet here, 30 feet here. Yes. And T intersection here. Okay. Left or right? I think we went left last time, so let's go left again. It's gonna be a door there on the right somewhere. At the end of the hallway you see there's a door on the right, which again is another slanted door, but this time slanting the other north way. northeast north northwest. This is more like this. Yeah. And on the western wall. That goes just another 10 feet, stops at a wall, and there's a statue in front of you. Can you imagine the conversation 2,000 years ago when the designer of this pyramid was like this? I'm oh, sorry, was like here? Or wise and rich wrong. men. Just, um, just there, but it's a straight, well, it's a straight wall. Correct. I can see this conversation. The designer is saying something like, "Listen, listen. What I want to do." Is on the fourth level. I want to make a hallway that revolves for no reason to worship our gods. There's no door. And I think it'll be <laughs> no, I know it wasn't really door. But why would we do that? Because it's awesome. But I worship the god of Gorm. It's awesome. Let's Gorm do it. Would love it. What you don't know is that Gorm, every deity has a, like a lesser job, right? Yeah. You know, like like justice and, and battle, mm -hmm. and and revolving doorways. <laughs> okay, so there's a statue there. Okay. At the end of the short corridor is an eight-foot-tall bronze statue of a winged child with two snakes twined around its body. Oh. Oh, we kill those right? A wand in one hand and a handful of coins in the other. The statue looks firmly connected to the wall. Is that the Magi or the Maiden? I think that's the Magi. I guess that's the Magi because it's definitely not a Maiden. Okay. 
Okay, so I searched the statue, checking for secret compartments, checking it for... Could you push it, move it? Yeah, it couldn't be moved. Yeah, you, Twisted. You, you notice that the wand it's holding can be moved. Mm. Okay. So you're playing with the child's wand. <laughs> um, and you get yourself on a watch list. Well done. You know what? There's nobody in here but us to see it, so unless one of you report me, we're good. All right. I, I object okay. morally to doing this to the child. Go ahead. All right. So I'm going to play with the child's wand. So when you pull it to the left, the wall starts shifting westward. So it's slowly grinding its way down. Backwards. Okay. And making a lot of noise. Oh, I'm sure. Always. How far does it go? And, it um, is a stone door. And Joel, just so you know, and a reminder that we have two people on guard behind us at all times. I think it's Ashley and Efron. And Efron. No, it's Ashley and Mike's NPC. Oh, Ashley and Kayla. Well, no, that was only when we were hanging out in the rooms when we needed a guard. But I think at all times now, we're just going to keep so, two guards in the back. So it should well, be 60 then. feet when we're just going. Therefore, leaving you 50 feet, and it's covering the last 10 feet of the hallway. So I'm driving five this square. <laughs> So, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Right. Sir, that. Uh, no, there's, there's no turn there. This is the end of the hallway. And the statue was occupying that square. Oh, so the statue slid back. The statue just slid backwards. Right. Hmm. Yep. So that was to the left. There's a secret door that's always somewhere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We scoured the hallway for secret oh. doors. Well, there is a door. Okay, there's a door. What does it need to be secret? Guys, door I found right the there. secret door. Well, yeah, the secret was move, getting the statue to move backward to reveal the door. <laughs> I'm the only one who found this door. Oh, you can see this we're, door, too? Uh, oh, the third one? Yeah, yeah, the one that I walked past before you got here. Oh, we're both uh -huh. really good at finding secret doors. Yes, we are. I see the door. And you, you found the door, too. Oh, I'm an elf. Oh, well. It's like second that? nature for you to find the door. What? It's like yeah. second nature. I'm like, oh, door. Oh, if there's, there's ever a fire, you want me near you. That's true. There's another one. All right. So there, at the door, there's also a door on this wall, but the statue is blocking your way into it. It's impossible to get past the statue to get to the door. Correct. <clears throat> oh, oh, I boy, I see some party split going on here. No. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see how we get to that. Okay. How do we get to that? Everybody goes into that room. We move the wand. Somebody moves the wand, runs into the door as the statue slides down the hall. Right. And then we go behind the statue. All right, so and hope the, we don't get locked in. Let's go to the top, the top door, I guess. Ruby already has a two-hour delay. Monroe has two and a half. For tomorrow? tomorrow. Hmm. Really? Is it that bad out already? When I got here, it was still, well, he was far behind me. The, our driveway was still slush. It wasn't yeah. icy at all. Probably. Right. I had a couple of us across the door right here. One, one, yeah. one. I think you just started drinking before you got here. <laughs> you had four kids, you've been drinking all the time, too. So I'll just find all the traps. <laughs> I no, wasn't an no indictment, it was no just a statement doors. of fact. Okay, so let's go open that door to our uh, north there. I mean, looking, looking at the map, I can almost guarantee you that there's a door right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I'm going to leave that line there. I'm going to bet you. <laughs> Joel hates me. So, so this room opens up into a 40 across by... 50 feet up and down room. It's a big one. This, Here? This is the western border. Oh. One more? At the very, yeah, the very end. And that's how? 40? That's 50, 50 north to south and 40 east to west. Right. And there's a door right there. I do like how there's like architectural <coughs> consistency. Because I, I hate it when I play games, and I'm going, "There's no way that this thing actually exists." I know that two of these pieces of things are just occupying in the same physical space. Here, Adam, so, let, let, me, let me make you happy, Adam. Ooh, 
Well, we don't know what's over there yet. We're over there. I just want to know where the dead space is so I can go looking for uh, for doors. But well, there's dead space now between. The you know what's very right. interesting to me is that in while we're playing Dungeons and Dragons, we look for the dead space on the map. <laughs> but like, well, I, that's because he basically our, our dwarf can tell us. Oh, the other room is so many feet through the wall over there. But in real life, like living at my condo, uh, it took me five years to notice that there was a secret spot that was underneath uh, the stairway that leads into a crawlway uh, where a backup battery is stored for the security system that I had no idea was there for the first five years. The only way I <laughs> really? discovered it was yeah. my alarm went off and it stopped going off and I had to put a battery <laughs> and I had to search the house for it. Now this room, along the north and west walls of the room hangs a large tapestry showing the major constellations. You have interrupted the religious service. Thirteen really? figures in rainbow-colored robes and silver masks stand in front of a stone star-shaped altar. The masks match the face of the middle statue on the pyramid. Yo, man. Wing child. Oh. The centermost figure of the group wears a silver crown. Uh, All Kevin, hail Magi. All hail Magi. We raise our hands far away from our We weapons. lift them up to the Magi. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's our hearts. <laughs> and then we, we, we go, oops, you and then we quietly back passes. away, back yeah. out the... So, um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Jeff, one or now. two. Uh, he's already, he's faded. So a stout man uh, walks up to you and says, um, Auriga Sirkinos. Auriga Sirkinos. Auriga Sirkinos. And we repeat it back to him. That's well, bad. He, he's going to think we have the same well, name. What can we do? What can we do for you? Greetings. We are travelers in from the outside in the desert. We have lost our way, and we have been without food or water for three days. We are sorry we did not realize that this was a place of worship. We did not mean to interrupt your ritual. We accept your apology. Is there anything we can do for you? Well, do you need food and water? We found some food and water down the hallway, and that seems to be enough but now we fear that we may have taken your food and we found our food supply. We thought it was abandoned. It was being eaten by by large beetles. Oh my goodness! But we'll no pay the beetles for you. We dumped all the extra. <coughs> and we can pay you for the food if you would be willing to accept some form of payment. We got some silver pieces. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. <laughs> Why are the, we the, paying for food? We can find some. We saved the food. Who's to say we saved it already? We don't need to pay him for it. Well. Or we could buy our the way out of it. could have eaten all their food we, and they would have nothing, or we could have saved their food and ate our Yeah, children. okay, so no, we're going to buy Goodwill, because there's 13 of them. Yes. Honesty is often the best policy. Yes. When there are 13 So we, 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 we wish to make amends. Uh, we we will make amends if you'd like for a week. That you can see. Exactly. Okay, we would appreciate that. What did you say, Judge? I offered to make amends. Oh, okay. Here's 20 silver how much? How much did you take? Uh, we each had a, a we meal. each had a meal. And we took some extra water. Okay, that should add up to about three silver pieces. Here's a total piece. or each. We want to get rid of our silver total. <laughs> yeah, here's just here's three silver pieces. May we also purchase some additional so that we have enough to last for a few days? Yeah, you can go back and take whatever you need. Okay, here's ten silver for your trouble. Thank you very much. What is your name, sir? I'm sorry. My name is Coquinos. Origo Cirquinos. Ah. ah. It is a pleasure to meet you, Ariga Sorkinos. Are you of the Magi? We are of the Magi. You're familiar with us? He's of the Southern Magi. Well, we saw the statue of the Magi the at the top Magi. of the pyramid. We saw oh. the great statue Capoeira? of the Magi. Huh? You're, Capoeira? You're very <laughs> learned from people who were just traveling through the desert. They worship the Capybara. Well, we, we, we ran into the... Brotherhood the of Gorm. Gorm? Gorm? Oh. And they told us a little of each... Of, 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 that there were other, other groups here. That, that is accurate. So, they told we, us there was a city down below. That's down below, correct. we were great, trying to make our city. we were trying to make our way to the great city. Do you wish to live there? It was a thought. We're kind of travelers that got lost on our way through the desert and have nowhere to go now, and this seemed like a good place. But we also need to find a way to pass through the desert, and even with the food that you have so kindly given to us it still would not be enough to survive. Only the resources of a city may have what we need to be able to survive the trek. Well, something you, you say to me confuses me. 
what is this desert that you speak of? Uh, you, nearing outside the temple. Elric exchanges oh, yeah. a look with his colleagues like, can you believe this? <laughs> yes. Wow. Have you left this temple? Have you left this area? Have you traveled, and he points north, upwards to the ceiling, beyond the Gorm, beyond all, beyond the statue of the Magi itself, where there is no ceiling, the land where there is no oh, ceiling. The, the land beyond. Yes. We've heard of it. That is where we are from. We've never been there. That's where we're from. But if you look upon this tapestry here, this appears to be from the land beyond. If I am not mistaken, I see constellations, stars, bright lights in the in the ceiling of the land beyond. We, yeah, we have oh, we, we have, have seen the great sky. Oh, you when, have. When, when we worshipped the, the Magi, how on long? Top of the pyramid. Tell, tell us what the Magi believes. What what what, what must be? Yeah. Um, what does it take to be of the Magi? And by the way, is that constellation on the tapestry? Uh, match the constellations that we see in the night sky It takes a really today, cool tattoo. Or is it shifted? Are the star patterns slightly monkey. different? Well, some of them you are... You really cool tattoos under your eyes. Some of them are familiar. The Magi, okay. the I'm Mummy Returns. The I'm Magi wondering if they had shifted over a thousand years. Remember. Listen to what Bring you're talking about. So back to, back to Dukat's yeah. question. Google. Uh, telling us about the Magi. I've probably seen it. Well, we, our purpose is to bring back the lost glory of um, Sinithia. It's the great city. Well, that, that that that's that must that's what they're talking about. The city above. The it's pyramid. the city above that oh, where the temples. The <coughs> I see that that city has been laid waste by the the sands of the desert yeah. in time. The desert. You speak of the desert again. So that's the beyond of. of yes, the area of all sands. Sanitia. Sanitia. How do you spell it? Sanitia. Just like it sounds. <laughs> kind of like my last name. How is it spelled? C Y N I D I C E A. Synodicia. Synodicia. That's what I go with. Mm. It's a good thing we know the name of a city that doesn't exist anywhere. So we're we're the ancient order from Synodicia. Wow. And we will we will with our efforts restore our lost glory through the ways of powerful magic. That is a noble purpose indeed. Do you, do you know what it is that drove your ancestors into the temple and out of Synodicea? Oh, we've heard stories of great lizard men and creatures mm. that, we've, that they've had to fight. Oh, yeah. That's what I said. You have cool tattoos on your forehead and your eyes. We can see that you, you, are, you are a person of the, of the occult. Of the what? I am but a student. My master is Dukat. He has taught me much in the ways. We are we are such masters ourselves. Perhaps we could share information, <laughs> and by doing so, trade knowledge. Perhaps we it. shall wait <laughs> for <the> master Bates. <laughs> My master <laughs> Dukat is, is indeed a master Sorry? debater. <laughs> sword fighting. Sword, sword speaking. Tell dirty jokes. <laughs> Quite skilled. My stomach does tell dirty jokes. It almost does. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I, I, I quickly slapped a sheath on my side, and I'm like, shh, be quiet. We would be glad to share with you our knowledge, and perhaps oh my God, you may so be willing to do so in turn. I'm going to name my sword Mel Blanc. His sword my turn. Well, <laughs> for starters, <laughs> as, my sword Mel as we are still just learning the paths of magic, <laughs> perhaps there are spells that, that you may be able to teach to us, and in, in return we can it. teach you the oh, spells sure, of the beyond. beyond. Perhaps, perhaps you could just tell us what is it, what is in the, <coughs> around here. Perhaps, perhaps how to get to the city, oh, yeah. the city below. Well, we're a little curious of something ourselves. <laughs> Wait, this thing's here. <coughs> this boy's okay, so we completely disintegrated here. Plus everything that we, 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 we completely disintegrated and lost our way. You two are having some other conversation. Adam's in his therapy. Jeff's showing pictures of Joel. <laughs> I, we are curious. More about your interaction with the Brotherhood of Gorm. There wasn't very much act. We, uh, I don't see any of you wearing any Gorm clothing or masks. We've been told that we are not of Gorm. Oh, that's good. Yeah, no, we are. Why, not why is Gorm. that good? I'm just just curious. Why would that be? Why, what 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 do they do this so bad? Because they're heretics. They uh, try they try to restore the false order. We try to restore the true order. Are you at war with the Brotherhood of Gorm, or are you at peace? Well, we're neither at war nor at peace. Have you shed blood? Sometimes. So I we try to get along. 
I'm, I'm confused about something. When we, before we entered this holy structure, we saw a topic under the sky. Three statues standing together. Gorm, the Maiden, and the Magi. That would imply to me that they lived and worked together. United. At least in As the past. One. We coexist. But someday, the true faith, which is ours, will prevail. Do you happen to have a prophecy that says that the Chosen Ones will return and bring forth the lost city of Synodicea together and unite the clans? Someday, yes. And will they come from the land of beyond? I... That's not part of our... Our knowledge base. And do you, in your prophecy, does it say how you will know the chosen ones? Not our Wikipedia. I bring you these fifteen. Oops, ten. Ten, ten commandments of the Magi. Because look what I can do here. See, I have. Look at my thumb, and now it's away from my hand, and then my thumb again, and then it's away from my hand. See, I am clearly of the chosen. Oh, you're mocking. Oh no, no, I'm. I'm just. It's humor in the land beyond. Sorry, master. Things have changed. They've developed this thing called. There's a new sense. There's, there's a new there's, sect. There's called the Christians. <laughs> there's, 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 there's the senses you, you know of. Too. Taste and smell. I should very much love to see that, as long as it does not involve bloodshed. Or harmed any of us. He points to one of the uh, one of the remaining Good twelve and, and gives him a nod. Yeah. And hey, baby. Hey, Hope you're feeling better next week. I'll see you in a couple months. Hopefully. I'll be back up. He takes out a little block. He tosses it up in the air, waves his fingers. The block disappears. And behind the party, you hear a voice saying, Hey, get out of the way. Uh, Eric looks behind him. And there, but there's no way there. He breaks into a big grin. Fantastic! You can actually see excitement in his eyes, and he's he's grinning ear to ear. Well, did you have a a previous uh, life as a thespian? No. Oh, okay. Just checking. It's magic. It's clearly magic. Oh. oh, oh. Uh, they they demonstrated a power of taking a block. Of oh, ventriloquism. It disappears, and then behind us we heard ventriloquism. It said, "Hey, get out of the way." It's very so, impressive. I see. Somebody get rid of those. <laughs> uh, we've got one for you. How's this? Uh, Elric, Fire magic missile at him. Uh, motions, m murmurs the words of power, summoning forth uh, one, of his, one of his only two spells, the Invisible Servant. Oh, this was a waste. And then he whispers, go lift the block, move it around, and then put it back down slowly. And then as he waits for the Invisible Servant to lift the block, he holds his hand out as if he is demonstrating great power. He holds his fingers to his temple like David Blaine, street musician. <laughs> And as, he, as the block know, begins to rise, he moves his hand upwards, and then he moves his hand downwards. So you just made a levitate. Yeah, except the Invisible Servant did it for me. Except my sword says, hey, that's not a trick. That's just this invisible guy moving up and down. Ah, you see, I can make the sword speak as well. Yeah, they're, they're amazed at the sword. That, that was a sword that speaks? That's amazing. Yeah, yeah you, you've got getting, great power. Getting it to shut up is the hard part. Yes. Maybe yeah, that's there it lies the magic. <laughs> Uh, and he looks at you and says, "You're you're an elf, aren't you?" I am. Maybe you would. How would you know of elves? Are they all human? Uh, there there's some elves and some humans. Oh, okay. Uh, After two thousand years, they should. Yes, I am an elf. elf. Maybe you'd yes. be interested in joining our our group as a full member. I have a half elf. Is it all um, Maybe uh, maybe you would too, and maybe you would too. And maybe what, you would too. What's required for membership? We we accept Visa MasterCard. Magic okay. users, clerics, and elves. That's where uh, we're hmm. Not you. Six, <laughs> we what's we the, accept uh, carpenters. What's uh, the benefits of membership? <laughs> you would be one of us. You'd be one of the chosen ones. Would we have to stay here? Could we well, go out into I the thought you wanted to stay here? Well, possibly, but if we wanted to venture out, could we spread the word of the Magi? Oh, that would be great. It, it's all about uh, options. We like to keep our options open. If we were to accept your offer, 
Would we then become enemies with the Gorm? Oh, yes. Uh, you can't be friends with the Gorm and be one of us. What are, the, what are the Maiden? We, have, we, we haven't seen them. We just heard of them. Then the, that's the other, the, the other faction. Is it all women? Just the Maiden makes me think women. But. Yes. Oh. How do you... Well... Are there, are there any women in the room? No. Well, no, we're, we're the Magi. We're not the Maidens. But you obviously have no women in your, in your midst? How do you have children? That's kind of a sticking point. To carry on your 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 order. It's just with a lot of old elves. How do you have children? Why do you have children? <laughs> <laughs> well, Gorm had children. They didn't say that. They they didn't. I asked where the women no, were. Some, some of them were women, some of them were men. Okay. Okay. So not every female has to be a maiden. You but can every maiden has to be a female. And every uh, magi not. has to be a cleric, a, a mage, a or a elf. Better. Male or female. So you gotta be lawful to be a Gorm. Yep. And by a, by a cleric, magic user, or elf, so basically magic sensitive, mm -hmm. to be a, mm -hmm. a magi, which makes sense. To be a full age. member. Be a Anybody can be a partial member. Ah. Okay. Gorm had that. Was Gorm? I don't know. And this, so the maiden the maidens was for everybody else. Yep. And Gorm had the ability to detect the alignment automatically, it seems. Just curious. So what do you say? I think your you your offer is. Group? Do you, do you have a um a uh, a book of your teachings that we could take to study before we make such a such a weighty decision? No. Oh, Would you no give us idea. time? To, uh, you, personal reflection should be sufficient for you to decide. I think that we will need. Then we some should time then we should take some time to reflect, and and to make that decision. And can we get back to you? Will you be here? Well, you you managed to find our our location. Yes, I'm saying so. We could okay. We can come back. We would we would be it would be an honor to come back hey, and visit um, you, and give you our give you our decisions. Hey, Eldane, while we're talking, why don't you move the statue? Okay. <laughs> so so I, they 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 keep them occupied, and uh, Eldane slips out through the back. Do you see the statues already moved back to its original spot? It's already moved all the way back. Yeah, it's all, it's back here again. Okay. okay. Well, it was easy. Yeah, saves me the time. All right, okay, we're going to go back to the game, guys. Thank you very much. Well, do we have any other questions? I don't know. Do you want to, yeah, I do. I would like to know. I don't. I'm leaving. There's a there's a city under. Eldane and Kalar walk out. Can you tell us how to get back to the city that, that is beneath? That well, you can't just go down there. You have to be a member. Oh, only members can get down there. Who is the members only? I need the jacket. And also, I, I'm not sure if you would answer the question the that my master would kind of asked. Are there any dangers that we should be aware of as we continue to explore. Well, don't go to the lower levels of the pyramid. Those are those are occupied by the priests of Zargon, and they will kill you. Who's Zargon? Because we saw, we found a, a room of Zargon that had Zargon written on the wall yeah. on the other side of the spot floor. They're, they're the evil ones. They're the ones that destroyed the city, oh. that, that try to destroy us. Oh. That doesn't sound good. Some but of them live but in they're the not city, the, too. They're not the Gorm... They're not the Magi, and they're no. not the Maidens. No. Ah, no, so those are just bumbling idiots. The Zargon people are dangerous. They're just dangerous. Are they, they enemies try to, to kill all? everybody. Are they enemies to all three orders? Yes. Would we be performing a service to you if we were to assist in the fight against the Zargon? Perhaps... Well, we don't fight them. We just stay away from them. Ah. They stay in their area. We stay in ours. What if we were to go into their area and diminish their numbers and assist you in your efforts. They have horrible, terrible creatures that fight with them. They're, well, they're too strong for us. We, we are we are not typical adventurers. We have horrible, terrible creatures as well. Look at Darger. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> we, we may be able to assist you here. They have terrible undead creatures, dragons. dragons. We have a player who turn on dead. Other, oh, no, it doesn't have other dead creatures dead. of the night. We found a, a, dra a Draco. Yeah. Okay. A Draco or on the other half of the, on the in a yeah. You see the spot? room on this floor. Was that, yeah. that be one of their creatures? No, no. We we've, we've heard there was one hanging around the, the pyramid. Well, there we isn't any more. There isn't any more. They took care of it. That's wonderful. We must truly be brave warriors. That's why we don't fear Zargon so much. <laughs> well, you should. Zargon is and his minions are much tougher than any Draco. If we were to fight the Zargon. Have you got any suggestions for us on how we should prepare or what we should watch for specifically?
the legend is is that they're led by a, a great creature who is not of this world. Uh, We've never yeah. seen it, but legend has it that's what destroyed the city. Oh boy! Ah. Hey Mike, go check if there's any secret doors in the north wall while we keep going. Mike's already out in the hallway. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if I'm about. Rangers, Rangers and el elves, go see if there's any any doors or secret doors on the north wall while we keep talking. Doors. Just wander around, take a check. I wander around. <laughs> Me too. The north wall. See if there's any. Secret what are you guys doors. going up there? You know. Eh, Why are you? We were. Uh, <laughs> No, in this direction, we were through that wall. On the other side, there's a those, hallway. Those are holy tapestries. You don't, don't no, need no, no, no. On the those. other side of the so wall, we're not touching the, the tapestries. Study the tapestries. Study the tapestries. No, the but, tapestries run all along the north wall and all along the west, west wall. wall. Yes. Like, like big curtains covering them. I, I, I wanted mm -hmm. to look at them, and also I'm reminded that, that beyond this wall, I won't touch the tapestries, beyond the wall, we saw what looked to be an abandoned... Um, uh, a chapel something. of some kind. <coughs> is there anything that you know of that? There was a uh, an altar with a rotted cloth on it. Uh, uh, we don't we don't go up there. That that's some that's a place place of some false god. Could it, could that be could that be a temple of Dargon? No, Zargon. Zargon, Zargon? Does, Zargon doesn't have any any uh, temples up here. They've taken over the lower part of the pyramid, and that's where they want to stay. So, I, I, do you have do you have to go through the lower part of the pyramid to get to the city? Uh, that's one way. <coughs> we we uh, we know several <coughs> ways. Bless you. Bless you. Hey, could you. Could you share those with us? No, They're, those have to be kept top secret. Otherwise, one of the other factions could find out. Well, they we all ways to get down. We all have way. our own secret ways, but it's important to keep them secret. Have you otherwise, heard? otherwise they can gain tactical advantages against us. I, I, so I, you have ways to get down into the city, which is below the Zargons. Correct. So you're able to bypass the lower so level. So you're able to level. bypass the lower level. Yes. Okay. That's good. Otherwise, we would never survive yeah. trying to get through. That would be poor design of the pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be, that'd be poor pyramid design. Well, we thank we, you very much. We've heard of creatures that turn other creatures to stone. Uh, uh, turn other creatures to stone? To stone. stone. We've because heard of creatures that are, bo are both of man form and animal form. It could be several things. Where creatures, perhaps? Centaurs. And Centaurs. And, yeah. This is kind of like uh, Harry Potter. Jason and the Argonauts. Yeah, <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> And, and there's a fleece made of gold. There's a fleece made of gold. And <laughs> ter terrible undead creatures. Uh, that was just in the art class, too. That right? sounds like, this just sounds like an XP bonanza later. <laughs> <laughs> we got to come back here in a few levels. Are there legends that Zargon has any weakness if he is from another dimension? Is he a creature of darkness? A creature Perhaps of green light? glowing rocks of some sort? <laughs> we've, we've heard that this... Zargon creature has a horn on his head that has magical powers or properties. This sounds a that's lot like that's all. That's Conan. Right. <laughs> so that when it changes into the beast, there may be more the kept down in the secret library vaults in, in the underground city. And then stab him in the head. With Could it. you? Thank you. Is that what happens? Would you be interested in sharing knowledge? <clears throat> we may be able to exchange knowledge of uh, magic with you. you. You demonstrated the ability to. Project your voice. Perhaps in return, I can show you how I raised and lowered we objects. Could, we could only do that to full member followers of the magic. Um, you should join, man. Maybe different people do different groups. Well, well there, there, there group. are some people who can't join a group. Yeah. Because I suspect that the maidens, the only the females can join the maidens. It's better to be Switzerland right now. No, you know, you know what? Because the maidens I would have to accept men, and they die out too. Yeah. Don't be logical. Maidens, I'm thinking of Valkyries. Uh, thank you, you so words. much. We are sorry oh, to interrupt yeah. your Amazons. Uh, Amazons, Amazons, and we will a little further south get out of your way so that you can resume Earth. your worship. Yeah. Okay. You can. Same thing. You can exit through the door on the east. Thank you. <laughs> well, we wanted to come back the way we came in. <laughs> he just gave us the door on the east. Let's go. We wanted to come back the way we came in. Just back we have a bunch stuff. of where so that goes. Those are private, private ways. You, you can't go in there. You're not allowed. You're not full members. Okay. You'll have to leave going out. There. Okay. So we go out to the east and... Well, there's a new door we get to go through. Let's not complain. And there's a new door that we shouldn't go through. 
And the guest goes like this. Oh my goodness, look at that. How'd you know that door was there already? It's amazing. Oh. Just, I hope the door opens when we get there. If not, we're screwed. I'm just wondering how in the world the Gorm get up to the level above them without touching this level. It's like such a small place. How does it even... Joel, can I fill this one? <laughs> yes. Oh, this is the one here. So it's just, well about... This whole temple, like if you like laid it, laid it out flat, would probably be the size of like this neighborhood. Yeah. You live your whole life here, you'd never go anywhere else. What is it like, 160 feet square? On this There's level. levels we don't know about. That's mm -hmm. the hard part. Was this one 200 by 200? Is that what you said? Yeah. Assuming temple walls. So 40 by 40, 120 by 120, 200 by 200. All right, so we try to open the door. Level. We try to open the door. 280 by 280. Uh, the door opens, and there's a 50 foot long passageway. Because it would be very awkward if buttons. it didn't open and we had to go back out. And Let's say, just oh, go straight across it. Can you go outside and hit the west button for us, please? Okay, so, by the way, so for the record, there. there should have been a door that I should have drawn <laughs> right awkward. here. Right around there, Joel? Yep. Probably. One, two, three, four, five. There's one here. You should screenshot yep, that. Shot that soon. That you can see right now. Yep. Let's go through that one. Agree. We go across carefully. Oh, you know, we forgot to ask them, hey, when you guys get bored, do you just sit inside the end of the uh, hallway and just keep hitting random buttons and get all dizzy? <laughs> and then, and then, like, step out and try to figure out where you are. Then step out and then blindfold <coughs> somebody and then try to have them walk in a straight line? Just FYI, we didn't go through the door in the bottom. This door? No, that door. Oh, that was their private apartments. We shouldn't go there. How do you know? Because they, they told, told us that. Oh, yeah, because I guess we had to collect you from outside the hall. Mm -hmm. Before we mm. what? Before we go down to the east. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I was already at that door. What'd you find? Like we're not telling you. <coughs> you just go through it. <laughs> oh, I like the evolution of that. That's nice, Josh. Busy. It looks like a giant J for Josh that gets. That's what I was thinking. It's getting more J. elaborate. I thought it was for that. Jeff. Oh well, yeah. I thought it was for Joel. Joel, what did you think? Yeah. I thought it was for Jones. What? For Jake? I thought it was All right, for... Joel, so we're at the Shrine. I thought it was for Johnson. <laughs> what about the door? What? You already played with the long hallway. Let's have that chime in. I had another door. You know, it's a long, hard shaft. Shut your mouth. Hey, I'm only talking about shaft. Oh. oh. <laughs> well done. Well done. <laughs> Two balls. You know, oh god, what was it? Oh, there was yeah, there was awesome there. Yeah. And in the middle of the hallway, the, the best part to see with the wall is, oh, is a man the, like going wearing one of the masks. He's like, they're the, um, bullshit. The Gorm. They're trying to pull that same stupid trick they did in the My brother! Movies. Brother! It's a brother of Gorm over here! He said there's a, a, a brother. Do you recognize him? You recognize yes. him? Yes. He looks the, the same as all the other brother of Gorm. Gorm is, Gorm is good! Gorm is good! Hail! He, he doesn't answer. He doesn't even appear to acknowledge your presence. Oh, could be dead. He might have triggered a he's, trap. He's just kind of wobbling a little bit. Oh, he's he's wobbling. A little, little bit of humming. I wonder if he's undead. Or he's in that reverie state. He's kind of I think he's stone loaded stoned. Up. I think he's all loaded up. He's loaded up on Gorm. Mm. Yeah. Well, let's go see. Well, he, he acknowledges you, and he says, oh, thank you, my friends. He walks into the, the passageway, closes the door, and you can hear it grinding again. You know, I actually, I forgot. I was mistaken. Uh, the Magi is actually, you know, uh, magic uh, and spinning hallways. Gorm is, you know, justice, battle, and really good brownies. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. All right, I guess we move on to the door, huh? They're excellent bakers. Yeah. I don't understand. They hate well, each they other. they bake all right. They're like, they're like <laughs> roommates who talk crap about each other when they're not next to each other. That's They're not more like mortal enemies, but more like roommates who hate each other. Yeah. I think, it reminds me of like every like pair of female roommates I've ever met in college. <laughs> they, and none of them ever got along. All right, well, we're moving on. Okay. So they got and the ones the that door, did, there's no traps. We'll wait for doors. Doors. All right, open it up. I and that opens up into a 40 by 40, 40 foot room. Three years. I know 10 feet down, 20 feet up. So we stayed in the same room together. One, yeah, one for, uh, two years. for two years. Everybody else was like, after one semester, they were like, can I move yet? Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. That's almost getting the hang of it. 
Ten women are seated around the table. Maiden. We all wear bronze chains mail. Bronze chain mail over green tunics. Each woman's face is covered by a bronze mask of the face of the woman whose statue was atop the pyramid. And just to confirm, it's because it is Dungeons and Dragons. Their uh, chainmail armor, is it more like a chainmail bikini? <laughs> I was going to say, what do they wear? All the important weak spots are perfectly open, and yet it services perfectly well with your AC4. AC4? That's like AC... You know, like the armpits are open, top of the chest is wide open, the oh, midriff That's because they're open. distracted. The distraction factor there you're missing. <laughs> well, you, know, right. you, you can use your own imagination. Picture them. <laughs> I'm not, now I can't stand up. But anyway. <laughs> are there any other doors in this room, Joel? No, you don't see any other doors. How many were there again? I'm sorry. Ten? <coughs> I think you said ten. There were two seated around the table. Oh, or rather, ten, ten seated around the table. So once again, we hold our hands up and we say, Oh, I held the maiden. Great. Ashley, Ashley steps up along with Kalar. Kalar, they, they act as if they're leading the party at this point. All oh, hail the maiden. Mm. Now does this turn into? You said they have masks. What else? But what else are they? Oh, so far, well, what are they wearing? I'm totally picturing like togas. See, I'm wearing green tunics. So you're picturing with, I'm picturing the you know, leader. Bro- I'm picturing the leader of the group oh, stands God. up, and she you, says, "My name is Pandora." Now I can stand up again. Thanks. Okay. Oh, your box. Well. <laughs> I saw that coming a mile away. Oh, boy. I wanted to say it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, no. Say it. That wasn't the sword, huh? <laughs> that, that was that was totally the sword. The sword totally shut down. The sword is cheap. Exactly. <laughs> Greetings, Pandora. Well, what brings you strangers here? Your a good time. <laughs> we were lost in the desert and found this. Sorry, sorry, number on a station wall. <laughs> Oh, no, uh, her name was Jenny. You mean the land beyond? Yes, we were lost in the land beyond. Wow, we come from land beyond. And found and found here and, and have come down. We, we, we bumped into the, the Brotherhood of Gorm. They and, all get a gas. And the Magi. And grab, grab their weapons. And no, 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 we're not part of them. And now we found our way to here. Oh, they're armed too. So what is your business then? We're Just looking for you. Looking for love in all the wrong places. Can we try to unite them against that's, that's Zargon? Sure. Unite the clans? Let's make I, I don't think, I, don't think I, I, I definitely feel there should be a union form. We can use the fireworks we'll go through to that door. <laughs> and then get all of them we, to... We should have went through that door. Yeah. Well, we could have get through that door. We could have come right back around, moved the statue. Oh, we'll work out right. So we, we noticed that you have some women in your... Your group. They must be your leaders. How much well, do Ashley and, 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 and Kaylar. Oh. Kaylar are doing the speaking. She, she yeah. can Ashley lead Kaylar me anywhere. And on that, she kicks him at him in the nuts. <laughs> and show strength. Show strength when you insult me. Strength That's what I have to do as the leader. I, I, I'm, I am well versed in how this goes. I'm able to <laughs> kind of crunch up at the last minute, but sell it. So I crumple to the ground in pain. In you have to keep pain. these men in line. Especially that one. Mm-hmm. Well, actually, he's an elf. I mean, he's pretty much a female, anyways. Really, yeah, if you are... the, all elves into the maidens. We, um... we're, we're the gay friend. <laughs> <laughs> so tell, there, tell us if the there's maidens. a female dwarf in there that I don't know. Legolas is pretty eye. badass, man. What's that? Legolas. Uh, uh, he does make the girls drool. He does. Not for the mouth. Right. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm twelve charisma. That's not bad for a uh... For a dwarf, that's great. Mm-hmm. Twelve charisma for a dwarf equals seventeen to other dwarves. <laughs> are uh, are some of these maidens elven? Do dwarves have a negative charisma? Some of them are elven. Some are dwarves. Well, yeah. So uh, the elven, there's the elven halfling in the, in the group. There's only female, females though, but they're female, all females. So uh, I am confused. Yes. Uh, the the city was destroyed a thousand or two thousand years ago. Surely some of you elves were alive <laughs> back then because so you can live for thousands of years. Do you do any of you remember that day? We don't remember. No, it, it, that was before we we can remember. Do you have any elders, older members? I don't, of I don't really live that long, Bob. Elves live like a elves only live. Yeah, in, in D and D, it's like five seven five to seven hundred years, years or something like that. Twelve. I think yeah, I think like. I thought it was like a couple hundred. I got the impression that that in that, in in, in AD and D they don't live as long as. So it'd be in your dad's time. So then, how much could get lost if it was your dad? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mother. Mother's time. Right. 
Do you have life strands? No. no. Okay. Yeah, I think it's, it's a DMG, isn't it? It's probably the DMG. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, no big deal. Anyway, could you tell us uh, what the what the maidens stand for and believe? Oh well, we find solutions to problems. We're power. We're fighters. Wait, I thought you said this is all comprised of women. <laughs> that way. That way. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, you know, all this time, it, it, Jeff it, it, and I were getting blamed. I, we've been we've been told that there's a problem down below. Zargon. Oh, Zargon. The Dormito. Yeah, yeah Zargon is very okay. dangerous. Stay away from yeah. stay away from the priests of Zargon. Well, how can they, we, if they're a problem, how come we haven't taken care of them yet? They're too powerful for us. It would it would as an outsider, it would seem to me that working with the other groups, the Gorm and the Magic, temporarily <clears throat> to rid yourselves of, of the evil of Zargon, and then. But you can't work with them. They're they're beneath us. Mm. They're they're vermin. Even They're for, useless. Well, what if they can be like, used uh, as fodder? Yeah, fodder. Well, surely they're not that useless because without them, you cannot have children to continue the progeny of the maidens. Isn't that correct? We have our own males to mate with. To mate Satisfy with. your needs. See. And uh, would you not agree that the Zargon are a significant threat, that life would be much better if they were gone? Just who is it that sent you? Right. We just want to instruct us. Um, well, we just we like to help others well, and beyond where we come from. Every it, person helps every other person. Is regardless. that your role to to find to find uh, groups We're, of people that at, are at trying the, to restore our our past glory? At the end of the day, we are all good people, and we like to do good things for other good people. Have you have you a prophecy among your people? Of the chosen ones who will return. Haldane steps back. <laughs> he has a really hard time saying anything about that. Who come from the land of beyond? Who comes from the land down under? <laughs> Do you have such a prophecy? Well, we'd have to consult the uh, the elders down in the city. I was wondering what kind of Can you take Do you have any that? Vita Vita Vegemin? I don't, how do we get to the city? Because we are very, very much well, interested in getting down there. Sandwich. Well, we've been told to avoid the lower levels because of Zargon. From Lucy. So Lucy. How do we get well, to the lower levels? Well, well, strangers strangers, strangers just can't go to the city. city. Yeah. It's well protected. <laughs> that, uh, that's our stronghold. We can't, we can't invite seven people we don't know down there. <laughs> Still classic. Well, what can we do to, to, to gain your trust to get us down there? Oh, full members can go down there. Do all we sign up? Can full members only be female? Yes. Then what are your men? Servants? Yeah. And they don't do they fight with you then? They can be partial members. Partial members? But partial partial members allowed members to go down? If we decide that they can go down there, if there's a, a task or a role for them down there. So what does the maiden believe in? What is her, her goals and ambitions? We're fighters. We're Oops. warriors. We're the warrior maidens. But... What, what do you war over? What do you fight? Uh, those who don't think that the warriors are the true faith. And who are they? When was the last time you were in battle? And with whom? We think you're asking an awful lot of uh, questions about our group. Well, because about, are, are you spies from the other? Oh, the other yeah. If we were spies, we would. If we were spies, we certainly wouldn't come to your front door and introduce ourselves. Of course not. We are simply exactly what you see. People from beyond who are strangers in a strange land, learning to understand your ways. Okay. You, you sound like you're speaking ways of peace, and we're not interested in peace. No, we're, we're interested in, in uh, <coughs> mobilizing you to battle against Zargon. Yes. And, and we're interested in taking Zargon down. We want a piece of the act. That's very dangerous talk, my friends. We're very dangerous people. I don't think your party... Trust, could, did you see what she did your to me? Party, She's dangerous. Your party couldn't defeat us. How would you expect to defeat the great priests of Look, Zargon I, and all their... I have a question for you. <laughs> have you ever heard... I'll get my sword out. ...of Telish Witch the Black, Boy. the murderous yeah. assassin of Garat? Dude, no. they didn't even know the word desert. Exactly. <laughs> and you know why you've never heard of him? We don't know what's an assassin. That's right. What's That's a because we completely <laughs> destroyed him, and he's now gone forever. 
So you're the destroyer of Telish uh, societies. Telish. No, the... of Telish, the evil one. No, we saved two societies. Indeed. By getting rid of Telish. He's much like your Zarga. Well, we we like that one over there. We point, said... pointing to Kalar. She would she would fit in very well with us. Would she like to become a full member of the Maiden? What's required to become a full member? Is it like well, a blood you sacrifice? Have to swear your, you would have to swear your oath to us and go through the ceremony. Is it a nice ceremony? You shave your head. Do I get any cool weapons? Or tattoos. Or tattoos? You do. They all show on their um, the, the inside of their left wrist a small oh. sickle that's branded. I got really excited when he said inside of their left Gals are tattoos, man. You know what that means. How long does this ceremony take? Nothing, I'm very old through them. <laughs> oh. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not 1995 anymore. The ceremony's not long. <laughs> but back in the 90s, I think it was true. Would I be able to? It <laughs> may take about half a day to go get the, uh, the the masks and the robes that you'll be required to wear. Would After the ceremony and I become a full member, would I, would I be allowed to venture out to spread the word of the... Yeah. You can, but that's dangerous. Well, that's you should okay. stay together as a group. There's strength in numbers. Oh, wait, we're already 10. 8. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah. Kyler, if you, <clears throat> if, you become a, if you become a member, would they then be willing to lend their support to you to fight Sargon? No. Well, while discussing Garter and Ephraim, both look at each other and they, they give a nod. They both. Oh boy. They both uh, discover that there's a secret door up in this corner, in the wall. Ah. But you don't see any other doors or, or anything else of note. Your door. Right. How many are there? Thirteen. Ten. 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 By, by Pandora. Pandora, Pandora, would you mind if we? Looked around the room a little bit. We've noticed a lot of secret chambers in the in the temple. We wanted to make sure that you're safe and secure here. Absolutely not. This is our this is this is our home. This is our base. You can't just wander around here. Particularly if you hear spy, you can be spies from another another group. You know, guys, there are a lot more doors we haven't finished in the circle thing. Kalar K- 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 says to Pandora, "They are they are companions of mine. I would be honored to potentially join with you guys." They are definitely not spies. We are definitely not spies. Well, these are crazy times. We can't. We understand. We can't that. trust you. We don't know you. If if you were to swear allegiance to us to become a full member, we might. You go to spy with her. Be more willing to believe. Yes. The rest of us. By the way, Pandora, what is a typical day for you? For example, yesterday, what did you do exactly? I mean, okay, you came here and you sat at the table. But what else do you do? Oh, we train for battle. We worship the maiden, the maiden god. Uh huh. And you do, you do? Do your people ever leave the, the pyramid and go to the land beyond? No. Why would we do that? Well, we have too much work to do here. It's a very to restore, small. Restore the faith. It's a very small space. I mean, it seems to me that. The combined space here is just a pyramid shape that gets smaller and smaller as you go up in level. We don't see it that way. It's adequate to us. How many? How large are your people? I mean, how large are the Gorm and your people and the Magi Double combined? Piece. Are we talking thousands and thousands? It seems like these rooms can only support maybe 50 at most. Where do you get your food from? Well, many are down in the city. Well, we have enough up here to protect ourselves and protect the way into the city. Oh, there's a city that connects to this, and that is where most people spend their time? Yeah, it's down at the bottom level. How do you meet people and fall in love and then get married and have children? Is it down in the city, or is it in this 80 such by... such strange questions. <laughs> it's this small room? Do, do you spend 80% of your time in this room? What if you found a gorm who you really like? Somebody's going to stop him. Like, no. where, do you, where do you poop? That's your job. Yeah, right. All right. <laughs> if you have to poop All right. right, All right. right. I haven't found a single bathroom our... on this level. There's no yeah, hey, we've been holding it for like two days. Grasshopper. Grasshopper? It's done. Yes, Master. You have crossed the line, Grasshopper. I'm sorry, Master. <laughs> I am sorry. You, you, you strayed too close to the, the concerns of nature. Uh, the mind races faster 
then the thoughts can flow. My apologies, Master Jukai. Forgive me, Fender. I am still learning. But, but I really would like to know where she poops. I'm just say. He's he's a. Uh... <laughs> Have you seen a bathroom? This I had to poop in the corner in the last room, and it's really smelly. And sorry. Pooped in the in the room with yellow spots. Actually, we haven't eaten in a couple days. So you really probably shouldn't have had the gum. What's that? Is it? I said, how many girls did he have to marry? No. <laughs> she poops right there. All right, let's go to the... <laughs> let's go back to the, to the, the center hallway. <laughs> go northeast. So you're okay with continuing for the night? Or do you want to stop? It is probably a good stopping place. What time is it? 20. So 20, 20 yeah. 25 of? 20 of? I don't know how to count. I'm good with stopping there. I'd like to kill one more thing, but I think I'm okay with stopping. I think it's a good yeah. spot. It is a good spot. Man, if this is another level as big as this one, we're going to be the biggest forever to get through. Mm. Well done, Mr. Joel. Yeah, well done, level. Joel. Yeah. I feel like uh, they're so static. How do you even interact with them to get them to do anything for you, you know? I think the point is that you're, I don't know, like, yeah, I definitely feel both, two of the, 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 the sex, sects that we met tonight. Yeah, why is it always going to be about sex, Adam? Because <laughs> I'm a guy that has a penis. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop recording now. <laughs> <laughs> the internet wants to hear this. Too yeah. late. Too yeah. late.